Test. Okay, I suppose I should have tested that before. Look, look, the internet works for two minutes. <laughs> Everything is negotiable, except overtime. Hmm. All right, let me push this out to Discord. Apparently, it's really cool. The fact that nobody else has joined right now tells me maybe that YouTube isn't pushing this out either because I don't stream at this time normally or just because I haven't streamed in a few days because my internet has chose to sabotage me. Um, anyways, um, and maybe it's, it's going to be a shorter stream in general. Anyways, so. Hello to those, uh, to Maurice. Welcome. You're one of two people <laughs> currently watching rip my stream, apparently. I think this is why I maybe should switch to Twitch because, like, not being able to rely on anything other than the magic of YouTube hopefully pushing things out to people is a little brutal. It did come on your recommendations. Well, that's nice at least. Don't we have a job to do? You did get a notification for this video? Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I actually do plan to stream again later. I know this is not good for many people because I know many of my viewers live in the Europe's and Philippines and the not America. Uh, so this is like not convenient. And I know so this will be like at the middle of the night or morning or midday for people. But tonight, for me tonight, I plan on streaming Tower of Fantasy and probably ranting a lot at that game because I I, I watched I I played through the very very beginning just to like like claim my username uh, in Tower Fantasy and then you know uh, that's basically it and I, but I watched my friend play some of it and just from the things I played through in the very beginning oh boy I wanted to rant <laughs> I wanted to rant so anyways if you want to hear me rant tune into the stream tonight for Tower of Fantasy. It'll probably be named Tower of Rants. Have fun with the two hour cues. Yeah, I mean I'll just leave it I'll leave it open like a in the background or whatever. For for a little while. Uh, so I can cue in beforehand. Hello everyone joining. But anyways, uh yeah, it'll it'll be like I'll probably name it Tower of Rants or something. This old boy is gonna make me rant. It's not a terrible game, to be clear. But like I have comments. Uh, many of the comments are just nitpicks on the nature of like gacha games and MMOs in general. I think, but anyways. Can you add you there? My username is Nozomi underscore. Yeah, go ahead. I I don't know how the friendship fr friendship. I don't know how friend adding works. If you had to like be on the same server or something, but I think I'm on the Glades, if I recall. I could be wrong. I, I anyways. Um. Blah, 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 blah. What are we doing today? Uh, I gotta get my stream stats up. One second. Look, there's 20 people. Wow. You break, <laughs> breaking viewership records. Nobody watches the stream anymore. I mean, it's a weird time. I get it. Um. Anywho. Anywho. I played the, um, garbage. Will you upload this live? You can't watch right now. Um. It should be, yeah, the, the YouTube automatically turns things into VODs after the fact, so, yeah. Um, everyone's missing me because of my internet being mean. Yeah, it seems to be working today. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, anyways, let's, let's go claim my expedition rewards. Uh, plan of today is just to do 
the event stuff and weeklies that we didn't do because um, they, my internet didn't work, so I saved them for, for now. All I've done since the internet hasn't worked, I have farmed some artifacts and did some dailies on the account, and that's basically it. Nothing, nothing eventful. I didn't get a single good artifact I can recall. I had artifacts. Oh, there's four hours left still. Ugh. That's what I get for playing Engine late yesterday. Um, well, all right then. Probably not claiming this today. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, nothing happened basically in, in the account in the past few days. So I did dailies, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, not nothing of nothing of note to worry about, honestly. Ah, uh, da 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 da. So, yeah, 1,300 primos now. Yay. The uh, live stream, if those, if anyone didn't notice, I'm sure most people did, or maybe people are too busy playing Tower of Fantasy. Um, the live stream for 3.0 was announced for Saturday? Friday? Question mark? I don't know. Next few days. Doesn't matter. Uh, point is, 3.0 is coming out soon. So, hopefully that means Zhongli soon. That's all I really have to say about that. Um, Sumeru will be fun. Obviously, I will stream Sumeru, although it'll probably be for my main account, but anywho. Let's, uh, anyone, anyone wants to join, it's free to join. I'm gonna go do, start doing dailies here. If you want to join, you can join. Apparently, our dailies are in Inazuma. Yup. It's the, yeah, it's supposed to be the, the one where you go and collect the slips that are on the roof. Um, anyways. Let's uh, let's do our dailies, and then we'll do weekly related things, and we'll do the co-op event. Uh, I did the co-op event of the Brandos on my main account, and the co-op event's kind of garbage, just saying. <laughs> but, it, you know, for for the potential that co-op events have, it seems like a lot of wasted potential. They really didn't seem to put that much effort into the co-op event, just saying. They could have... Oh, yes, yes, I understand. We gotta go grab the slips that are on top of the roof. Thank you. So much dialogue. You know, I understand. Just let me go do it. Uh, so anyways, yeah. Uh, if you want to rant, prepare, prepare t t for later today. Or you can watch the VOD. Because you you might be... If you're watching now, you probably won't be able to watch later. I understand. So, anywho. Uh, slip there. Mama, what, are you are you emulating the that character from Maiden Abyss that just says Ma constantly? Ma. Uh, I thought there was one on this roof. Are they in different spots? I don't know. I'm not, I've not done this mission that much. Two out of three. And now the struggle to find number three. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, co-op wind trace is definitely the best co-op event. Here we go. Have your have your garbage back. Let's see what Gendo gives us since we're here. Try your luck. Wind Trace a Genshin thing? Yes, Wind Trace is like a hide and seek Genshin event. I run it a couple times. It's quite fun in co-op. Um, as if you play with friends in particular, Wind Trace is quite. Without friends, it's just you know a better than average event, I would say. Yes, it's about it's like a prop hunt hide and seek type thing, yes. Uh okay, check our fortune, see if we get great fortune for like the fifth time in a row. Uh da -da, there it is. Rising fortune. Ooh, still you know, not bad, I think. Oh, there's a Oculus here. Can I get that now? I think that's in the cave that's down here, right? Uh, apparently can't get that here. Is it quest locked? Is this quest locked to like the Raiden Shogun quest or something? So I think this is where the, the Raiden Shogun boss fight appears. Oh well. Do 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 do. Let's go. Do the rest of the day list. Anyone who wants to join is free to join since we'll be doing the co op event. And then we'll, uh, do bounties. We'll do bounties co op event. And obviously finish up the dailies here. Use whatever, whatever, what is that resin at? 120, that's a nice even amount. We're gonna do some weekly bosses too. I did Devalin on my own, got nothing from it. There's an Electro Grana from the small island top. Oh, okay, so I can get that then. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Where is this commission right here, looks like? Yoink. Collect the particles. Okay, it's a fairly easy commission. Well, maybe I'm speaking too soon because I just missed all the particles. Okay. I think the easy way to do this is just drop down. The nice thing about these commissions, they're not usually too bad because... You can just, uh... I don't know if I need to reset my timer. Let's grab this. Uh, 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 wait, 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 everything's gone wrong. No! <laughs> uh, okay, um... Uh, we can do this, we got a minute, we got a minute, we got a minute. We're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Why did I just fall? Okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you actually serious? Get the. Get. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Get up here. And then go grab two freaking more particles. Got. Okay. I, I was, like, I was trying to say this commission isn't too bad because you don't have to get all the particles, what I was going to say, and then that miserableness happened. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Do, 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 do. I have a quest over here. Ooh. Is this just the main quest for this island? It probably is. I should probably claim that. I normally avoid taking, but eh. I normally avoid taking quests. Quests? I can speak. Uh, I normally avoid taking quests because. Hello. What? Well, uh, but because they can interfere with each other. But that's mostly leeway quests that do that. So you know what? Let's take this quest. Let's have it in the pockets. So we can do it in the future. I am not going to be able to get up here. Am I? Uh, we go. I got it. You. Oh, this is not. No, this is not. Take your dear general. Yes, I will go take you to be executed for trespassing my lands. I, I don't care. I don't know what this quest is. I just want it. Give me the quest. Where am I? <laughs> I'm asking him where am I? Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Look at all this dialogue. Cool. Great. Okay. Gather 12 Naku weeds. Oh, that's annoying. Do I have 12 Naku weeds? Yes, I do. How nice. Beautiful. A oh, beautiful. Is that all you need? Nope. Okay, well... We'll 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 come back here another day. Uh, where was I going? Oh, over here. Yes. It's talking about that annoying quest for destroying all the dummies at once. You basically need the way. I mean, on this account, I've used Zhongling for that. Yeah, you need some kind of character with a big AOE attack, which is kind of obnoxious. I think you can use amber for it, yeah. It's just annoying that you have to have like a burst charged for, for that event, basically. Because that's where your AoE abilities usually lay. Oh, a little bit of bad timing, but I'll let you in, Kobe. It's gonna reset their combat, it's fine. Target the fire boy first. Okay, I want to do dead. Let's get you. Okay, close him. Good, good. Dead. Goodies, goodies. Death is good. Used Yunjin to do the Allen quest. Oh yeah, Yunjin's got a big AOE sweep. Yeah, she'd be good for the Allen quest. That lightning just strikes something and give me an energy particle? What? 
Where did the energy particle come from? What did it kill? <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Let's go to the last one. Lightning just gives you orbs. Oh, interesting. I have never noticed that before. Oh yeah, I just got another particle. That's just weird. Why? That's a weird decision for them to do. I don't mind it, but it just seems odd. No, I switched. There we go. My characters are on weird buttons. I got confused. Do 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 do. Yoink! Yoink! More enemies. Oh, he ran away from me. Oh, it's just because you have an electro character in your team? I see, I see. Because uh, Raiden Shogun is here. Interesting. Thank you, Hotel. Yoink, give me that radish. All right, there's a there's a bounty over here that I selected. So let's go over here. Oh, it's part of like a sacred Sakura upgrade thing. Ah, I see, I see. Interesting. Yoink. All right. How many of you guys have, have have actually started playing Tower Fantasy out of curiosity? I want to gauge, because obviously I see a lot of the Genshin community talking about it, but I've also seen people outside of the Genshin community, so a surprisingly high amount of people outside of the Genshin community talking about it, uh, I will say. So, I am curious how many of the people inside the Genshin community, though, are playing Tower Fantasy. Oh my god, death is... Uh, okay. I was going to say death is coming, and it came before I finished my sentence. Yay. Easy peasy. No problems. A lot of you saying you have, have tried it, didn't really like it. You know, it, I agree that it's not, a lot of it's messy and jank. Like, it, it definitely doesn't feel like it has anywhere near the polish. It very much is like, copied a lot of the things in Genshin. Um, does not have anywhere near the polish that Genshin has. Which is not a good thing, um, I think, for the long-term potential of the game. But, uh, I will say that it's like... Uh, watching my friend play it, she she enjoyed it for like the same reason I think I enjoyed it, and that the janky mess of it kind of grew. You know, it's, it's what what it felt like to me. Like the game is a chaotic mess, and it was weirdly enjoyed because of that. Um, so, anyways, I'll be playing more of it tonight. For those of you that didn't weren't here earlier, I'll be playing more Tower of Fantasy later today if you're available. Otherwise, you can check out the VOD. Might become an edited video later. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we gotta go get another commission here, or bounty. Yeah, one of the bow users, or, or you know, it's not, I'm not correct to say bow users, the bow weapon, yeah, that, the, or, yeah, I think there's like a pyro bow weapon you get for free. That's basically Amber's kit. Yeah, it literally has Amber's burst. It has a lot of things that are straight up just copying Genshin. Oh, reputation level 5. Yay! But, um, that's not even what I have to rant about. Yay, we got a gliding gadget. How exciting! Um, and vulnerable to pyro damage. Well, sorry, Hutu. But yeah, I have a lot of things to rant about Tower Fantasy, but it being a Genshin clone is actually not something I care about. Um, I care about, like, how good is it as a game, and things like that. And they... They do some things wrong. That's what what I would say. 
They got caught stealing assets on an early stage. Well, yeah, that's plagiarism. <laughs> that's just plagiarism, yeah. Is it a Hoyoverse game? No, it's not a Hoyoverse game. It is a basically a Genshin clone game with a different focus on the story. Um, shitty hair physics. And uh, a, I, I would say a gotcha system that is slightly better, but I don't even... The, the limited banner stuff with the like artifacts makes me think the gotcha system is facading itself early on as being good. We're getting into rant territory. I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about this. Is, this is a rant to be saved for the Tower of Fantasy stream. Um, the gotcha system looks better at first glance, but I am skeptical. So, it, it's, it has fundamentally the same structure as Genshin's gotcha system, but then later on you unlock like all of it, from what I've seen in a video, and looks in some ways worse like like there is an aspect of it that has an a, a gotchified system for genshin's artifacts right like uh and one of them you can farm for like you farm for the wishes for the artifact wishes which is fine but the other one you don't so like if you only it's like it's like like the healthy way to play that game and my my initial impression seems to be the healthy way to play Tower of Fantasy is to only wish on the standard banner. <laughs> right. Because the limited banner seems like they took Genshin and somehow made it worse. Other than like the nice early pity thing, not or early five star not wish resetting pity thing. Like I feel like a lot of people are too focused on like, oh the pity the the, the gotcha system is better and it's more generous because of the fact that it doesn't reset pity. But anyway, we're getting into rant territory about Tower of Fantasy. This is this is gonna be safer safer later. Let's let's finish bounties here. Yeah, I'd say that their system for guaranteeing your preferred character on the on the limited banner is better, in my opinion, but I'll, I'll talk about the details of that later. Hello, Ray. Um, they said all characters will be on standard eventually, so there's really no point. Is that is that really true? If if all characters, if all limited characters just get added to the standard banner, I'll have to read into that more. If all characters get added to the standard banner eventually, there's literally no reason to roll on the uh, standard banner. <laughs> or the limited banner. I feel like like why not just constantly build your pity or, or save your wishes like right like if you want the, the lady on the nemesis like the what the nemesis lady that's on the limited banner currently obviously you have an increased chance of getting it right so that's the reason for doing it but compared to just if she's going to be on the standard banner the next you know after 20 days won't be right after the one or two reruns will be added oh okay so hmm I don't know. I kind of like that less. That's kind of obnoxious, honestly. Because yeah, you're caught in the... Do I waste... I don't know. Interesting. Whatever. I don't know. I, I don't plan to spend any money in the game. So, actually, in fact, I'm probably going to... Now I'm going to just make a statement right here. If I end up spending money on Tower Fantasy, I will never stream on this channel again. Never upload another video. You know what? There's my motivation for not spending any fucking money on the gotcha game. I will never spend money on Tower of Fantasy. I do. YouTube channel dead. Not a single penny. Anyways. Fuck gotcha games. I am a man of my word. Look, I, I said I would spend... I did something really stupid. said I would do goddamn C6 Yalon. It was not worth it. You know, I got 5,000 subscribers. Didn't think that would happen. It happened. I did it. I will abs if I if I spend any fucking money if I spend a single penny on Tower of Fantasy, I will not. This, this the channel's dead. <laughs> what if someone spends money on that gal for you? Uh that that is not me spending money. I mean, I, I don't know if they have a similar thing to Genshin where people can just like send you the premium currency. That's whatever. That's other people's money. I don't think people should do that. But I can't control other people, so no. Anyways, um, I'm just going to. 
blanket say say that no because i can hold myself to my word in that <laughs> that way so i can just block myself from spending money but anyways i'll, I'll be talking about specifics of, of my, my thoughts and ranting about gotch in general and specifics on the nature i didn't i didn't go grab a new commission did i whoops well hello shinha by the way hello shinha um Anyway, I'll be ranting more about the specifics of the on the actual Tower of Fantasy stream later today. When I streamed Spider Abyss Floor of and you fell asleep watching, that's surprising considering how angry I was constantly. <laughs> C16 characters a bit much though. Yeah, I should have just said like I will see two Yanlon or something. I should have done something more reasonable, but whoops, oh well. Season of Galon is fun, just like gives me very little value for the money. Like it does nothing for me. <laughs> just like there's a character that can destroy everything in the game instantaneously. Cool. I mean it's fun. It's fun for the, the, the silliness of it sometimes, but it's also like annoying in some ways. Cause like if I want to like test out things with Yalon, I like and I want to use her as more of a support character. To like not screw up the balance of my teams, I have to like not use her burst or like avoid using her C6 entirely <laughs> to be able to. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. I hate picking this up. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I should have stopped with C4. C4 actually is like I, I really enjoy it for like a support utility, and C4 has the most value long term for like HP scaling characters for C4 Yamon. So, you know, anyways, uh, yeah, don't. Don't spend money on it. I mean, if you spend money on gacha games, just set a hard limit for yourself. The problem is, is once these games get you to spend any money, it's very easy for you to fall into the trap of being like, I'll spend, you know, oh, I lost the guarantee. I can spend 30 more dollars, 40 more dollars, whatever, right? And I play this game. I like this game enough. I'm not comfortable with spending $40, and that's fine, right? But then you spend $40 once, and then that happens again in a month, and again in a month. And, and yeah, and it can spiral out of control. And you make a YouTube channel where you say you'll spend a thousand dollars if you get five thousand subscribers. <laughs> so, you know, that that's a little bit of a weirdly more specific situation to be fair. <laughs> but, but the point stands is like they're designed to manipulate your psychology, and once you, they break that barrier, of you spend any money at all, uh, they gotcha, they gotcha. But if you can spend a healthy amount of money. You know, just buy like you know, the the Welkin equivalent, the the subscription based thing that's only five dollars a month. You know, that's the healthy thing to do. If if you're able to do that, I respect it. I died again. I should have switched to not Yunjin. Yunjin Solo is not the strongest character. Surprise. I mean, you could probably build Yunjin to deal some decent damage. To be clear, but um. My Yunjin is at level one normal attack talent still, so you know, not dealing a lot of damage on normals, even with her first up. It's better value Welkin or Battle Pass. If you're playing every single day, anyways, Welkin has higher individual value. Um, Battle Pass is has more simple value because you don't have to play every day to get the full rewards out of Battle Pass, uh, and Battle Pass gives you a lot more value. Uh, in things outside, like it gives you resin value, right? So instead of spending, having to spend resin on getting more for building characters, you know, for building up weapons or whatever, you just get the materials. So um, Battle Pass gives you actual value outside of just wishes, right? So you get a, a decent amount of wishes, but then you also get a lot of other resin equivalent things, which lets you spend more effort on building more characters. Battle Pass is the number one thing that lets you build more characters, right? And Building characters is what Genshin's about, in my opinion. So in my opinion, overall, Battle Pass is a higher value. Um, but if you're just like trying to do long-term saving for wishing for characters, Welkin is higher value. But, you, but Welkin is designed to get you to play the game every day and to get it to like make it a daily habit in your life, right? So, anyway, what's targeting me? Are those targeting me all the way over there, you, you mad men mobs? I'm gonna go heal here. And then uh, I think, was that the last commission? I think that was the last commission. Let's go check our thing quick. But yes, I would rather I would rather games like Genshin or games like Tower Fantasy. You know, like I would be fine. I would be comfortable with a game 
that had like a gotcha as system that didn't have all the predatory mechanics gotcha didn't have all the constellation bullshit to tempt you to spend extra um didn't have all the highly predatory things there um you know and then like like if genshin cost 40 dollars had mostly the same gotcha mechanics but they like, remove all the really hyper predatory things about genshin about the gotcha i think it would be a much much better game is my opinion but they probably would make way less money. So, yay capitalism. Yeah, that was my last one. Good. Yeah, you hate Battle Pass because you hate logging in every day. Yeah, I, I get that. It definitely feels like it's trying to make the, you have a habit of playing the game every day. And I think they're successful at doing that if they make you want that over anything else. Um, I can't claim my daily rewards until I leave co-op. So let's. Oh, I should go craft my condensed resin fruit. Wait, 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 wait. What am I? What am I doing with my resin? Um, so I could. The only character I don't have level up through final ascension right now is well, Toma, but ignore that. Um, is Zhang Ling. Your Genesis, your your well can cost nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety in what currency? Assuming it's still gotta be close to five dollars US, or is that like actually twenty dollars US? That's crazy. If the, the translation rate is twenty dollars US. So anyways, it wouldn't take me much resin to do Zhang Ling's final ascension. Only problem is Zhang Ling's final ascension gives like very little value. Like the most valuable thing we get out of Zhang Ling's final ascension is ten more base attack. Yay! Like Zhang Ling's not in our situation is not normally the one triggering that many reactions she does so it's not like the em is pointless but anyways i should do it i should do zhang ling's ascension i should do it but artifacts <laughs> um it's like 5.99 euros oh, okay so that, that's that seems like a fairly normal rate. it's slightly more than it is in the u.s but that seems like a fairly normal translation rate Let's, 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 we're going to do Emblem, I think. I did a little bit of Pale Flame farming um, in the past couple days, trying to get better Rosari pieces. I did not get any better Rosari pieces, so, you know. Um, yeah, that's all, that's all I can say about that. I also did farming for Pale Flame because I was trying to get, like, better potential Mr. Mister Zhongli pieces. And I might go back to that domain just for more. Because ideally, I would like, I think I would like a mixed support dps zhongli so i would just like having more options for tenacity pieces you know with crit lines so you can see i have a couple crit lines this is crit damage hp percent on it so it has crit damage on it. it says crit rate hp percent this is like the highest potential one because i'll probably use Faponius lance on zhongli but anyways i should also you accidentally bought a blue fate oh no kobe i i wish I, I will bless your luck on this fate you accidentally bought, and it will give you a five star on your one blue fate. That's what I say. Anyways, point is, um, I probably will go for a mixed, mostly prioritizing support build, you know, shield. I, I want Zhongli's shield never to break, of course, but I would also like Zhongli to do some decent damage, so I want good artifacts for him, right? Anyhow, what role do I think the Dendro Archon will play? Uh, whatever role in the story that Mihoyo makes for her. <laughs> the implied role seems to be a sad a sad god who lost the god who or who who like replaced the god that that died however much time ago why am i going over here um she's a sad god who replaced a god that was loved by the world however much time ago i'm the most thing i'm interested in is the implication with um the dendro archon is that from the from the, from the golden apple event um, oh, I need to go into my deep on clean versions. The golden apple event is that they have power over like, like, like perception. Like they can manipulate people's perception to like make things into reality, right? Like, like the the castle on in the golden apple archipelago is made by like mimicking the dendro god's powers, which is crazy. So that is honestly what I'm most interested in. Uh, I don't know why I'm waiting. I'm just going here. Kind of a single EM main stat piece in your whole main account. Yeah, I can relate. 
I've gotten good EM pieces on this account for some reason because the game decides to troll me. I can't get like a single. The only EM pieces I've gotten on my main account with energy recharge is the time piece, which is the hardest piece to use as an off piece for an EM like Viridescent 4 piece set. So thanks, game. You know, I'm playing Yunjin. I didn't even really think about that. It's, it's fine. I should, I definitely want to, maybe I should spend my resin like leveling up this instead. Because I keep on playing Yunjin at co-op. And it wouldn't take long to get this level 6. So I could probably, you know, easily double Yunjin's damage and uh, normal attack damage in co-op. I leveled that up to level 6. But anyways, it's, it's fine. It's fine. All to count is a 30 CV EM circlet and not your main. Yeah, I can I can relate. You know, this this account has a goddamn 50 crit value, a 50 crit value hydro goblet that has zero use right now until you know the the hydro support character comes out in 3.1 that we're going to try to do damage for. Sorry, your internet is slow. You don't need to apologize about that. My internet is probably worse than yours. It just is working right now. Damn. We had 10,000 damage. Yeah, 38 CV attack onset emblem goblet, but don't need it. That I mean, that sounds like a ride and choke in piece. If that if that goblet, unless you have a much better electro goblet, uh, or like an onset energy recharge time piece for riding, it depends what your riding build is, right? Uh, but. If, you, if you're using an energy recharge timepiece, an attack percent goblet is completely usable on Raiden Shogun. Um, and if the subsets are much better than Electro Goblet you have, I would absolutely use that 38 crit value attack percent goblet on Raiden Shogun. I would love that. My, my, my Raiden Shogun on my main account has a 14 crit damage and like 10% uh, energy recharge. Attack percent goblet. That's what my Raiden Shogun is currently using for a goblet on my main account. Is is really bad. Ooh, it's a, it's a feather that's bad and a thing that's bad. Oh, it's an energy recharge piece with really bad substats. I mean, this is a four line. I'm not gonna roll it because I have a better like. Um, I have a, a, a much better off-piece energy recharge piece at this point now in the count. Um, if you were very early on in the count, this is potentially something that's worth rolling as an onset um, emblem energy recharge piece. This is worth rolling. And if it rolls heavily into attack percent, honestly, it might be worth rolling me as an onset. If it rolls heavily like into 20% plus attack percent, it's usable. Is it copium? Uh-huh. But as an onset emblem piece with energy recharge these are annoying as hell to get it could actually be not the worst thing in the world um you usually want more attack percent when you're using an onset energy sorry, sorry for making everyone wait you usually want more attack percent on um you know, your characters that have energy recharge time pieces so like that can be good but Boy, is it copium, because <laughs> all the other stats are bad, and it's highly unlikely it'll be good. But you know what? Maybe it depends what other artifacts we'll get. Maybe I'll roll that here just to to demonstrate to people that it can be good. It probably won't be good, but it can be good. And had a single usable emblem piece for since Yalon's been around. Yeah, I can relate. I've been farming emblem... I, I was farming like, farmed, like Viridescent for about three weeks straight to try to get EM pieces, and I just gave up hope, especially after we heard about the leak for the Viridescent being in the strong box. Um, which hopefully we'll have an official announcement on that soon. Uh, who died? Shen Ha. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I should be playing Rosaria so I can take advantage of the Shen Ha buff, but. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I, I, in like the, I've been farming Emblem, you know, forever, and. I don't know how much resin I spent on Emblem in the last month or two, but just like two days ago on my main account, I got like a 30 crit value Emblem flower. And I already have like three good flowers, so it's like not even that useful. That's the that's the like only good Emblem piece I've gotten in, in months. I haven't spent all my resin in, in it though, so you know.
Well, yes, that, that, that timepiece is definitely golden, to be clear. But it's not potentially the worst piece in the world. Just see. Depends how it rolls. Depends how it rolls. Defense percent. Ooh, baby. Look at that. That's a juicy artifact. Attack percent, crit rate, high roll crit rate, minimum roll crit damage, or energy recharge. Defense percent. Um, no. I think... I, I, if this is a four-liner, particularly if it had like a crit damage four-line, maybe. With it being three-line... It would basically have to entirely roll in the crit rate, max roll for me to even consider using it ever. I don't care enough, I don't think, to, to spend the you know material and more leveling that kind of piece up. If it was a four line, even with a dead stat four line, I would be more interested in it. Uh, the, the People underestimate the value of having an attack percent circlet sometimes, by the way. Um, in my opinion. So if it rolls well enough, particularly into a crit stat that you need, and I had two good lines, right? That had crit, a high roll crit, and energy recharge. That's not the worst piece in the world, but for my personal preference, is uh, for me to consider using that, I would a four line start. So that was the same thing, but with another dead stat in the fourth line, I would consider it. I really wish five star artifacts were just. The, the things that I would change about Genshin's artifact system, just to make it just slightly less nightmarish, would be to... The, the best thing to make them just, like, literally twice as easy to get would be just erase all flat stats other than EM. Because, like, they're never what you want, ever. You never want flat HP over HP percent. You never want flat death over defense percent. You never want uh, flat attack over attack percent. They're always worse. A minimum roll percent is I shouldn't say always. There might be situations with a character with really low base attack and a low base attack weapon where a high a max roll flat attack might be better than a minimum roll attack percent. But I'm pretty sure that's still not even the case. I'm pretty sure. Even even on the worst case scenario, I'm pretty sure a minimum roll attack percent is still better. Um anyways. Uh point is the the flat stats are garbage. Uh the other thing I would say is attack percent sands with with a max roll crit damage four line. I'm gonna keep this. I know people are gonna say copium, max roll crit damage four line. I have I have a dream, and my dream is a fifth, like a forty percent crit damage <laughs> attack percent sands. Is it gonna happen? Absolutely not. But you never know. Um, this is a max roll er. Uh, am I using a defense percent? Emblem Sands on Yunjin. This might be a potential upgrade for Yunjin. I gotta check. I don't remember what I have on Yunjin right now. That if it rolls crit rate, that could be an uh, upgrade for Yunjin. Artifacts. I am. Uh, it is using eleven ER and one crit rate roll and a bunch of flat def. So it's actually going to be kind of hard to improve that. Um. Do we have any others? I mean, this has... I was going to say it has more potential, but not really. Uh, okay. Well, let's let's see if it rolls crit rate. Got max roll ER, max roll attack percent. I mean, the attack percent isn't really that valuable. Eugen, obviously, but I don't know. Um, don't have a level 4. Should pull for Goemia or save for Kokomi? I think Kokomi support character is always the higher value long term than a TPS character. So, my recommendation, without knowing the situation on your entire account, would be Kokomi. Flat HP, ooh, baby. My will embodied. Um, yeah, like that shouldn't exist now. Like, like this flat HP is you never, you never want that. You basically never want that. Flat stats are almost always useless. And there's rare situations where, like, yes, I guess if. I want, if I'm going to have off rolls, I would rather have my off rolls on my Yunjin pieces be in flat defense over flat attack, right? But, ugh. Artifacts would be so much less painful if flat stats just didn't exist. So, anywho. Um, there was another artifact I got there. I thought that was potential, wasn't there? I don't remember which one it was. Well, Whoopsies. Oh, I should, oh yeah, I said I was going to level up that. 
Ooh, wait, no, we're not going to lock this piece of crap. Um, we'll give it one roll, level four. If it doesn't roll attack percent, is dead. Of course it rolls attack percent. It min roll, I think. What is that? Is that a min roll? No, it's not a min roll. Um, all right, lol. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do I, I don't want to keep rolling this goddamn game. Why do you have to do that? Uh, the game's trying to prove my point of like a, a high attack percent piece is potentially better. Like compare this to this, right? So this has one, well, okay, the EM can do something for jungling that has two crit damage rolls. If this rolls entirely into attack percent, it is definitely better than this piece, I would say. Um, if it rolls all but one roll into attack percent, I'm pretty sure it's still better than this piece. So, I don't know, I guess put my money where my mouth is and take it to level 8. Good, it's dead. Sweet. Thanks, game. I mean, maybe still worth leveling to eight, but not. I don't. I don't care enough to level. Or sorry, to level it to twelve. I don't care enough to level it to, tw to to twelve. Uh, goblet, goblet, goblet. No. Um. What did I not? Get? I thought I got something else that was like not hypercopium, that had potential. Um. I don't. Was it this piece? Uh, it's not really that. I don't want to roll that piece. Uh, what the heck was it? What was it? Oh, it was the the four line piece with attack percent crit damage. Yeah, I have a dream, and my dream is crit damage. Get it to level eight. Give me two rolls of crit damage, please. Max rolls, please. That's one roll. Hmm. Hmm. Three more rolls. It could. It could. It could. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Why? Why'd you have to give me? Why'd you? Why'd you have to give me the crit damage roll? See now, now I'm now I'm stuck here, being like, do I keep on it? I mean, I I think it's it's the XP cost of going to level twelve is I don't think I can get to level twelve. Uh, the XP cost of going to level twelve is low. I will go to level twelve and see if it's crit damage. Um, literally, all the remaining rolls have to be crit damage and high roll for this to be worth it. I think. Um, like if it gets to thirty crit damage, right? It's is definitely worth using, right? Uh, this this piece would be better than well, if this has thirty crit damage, right? It's better than any other circle. It's it's definitely better than this. It's definitely better than this, right? Like you gotta understand the state of my attack percent pieces on this account are very bad. I have nothing like nothing good going on here. Okay, <laughs> uh, like, this is the best artifact I have. that's an attack percent piece. So, you know. I think it's worth rolling to 12, and then I fodder it at 12. But um, if it doesn't roll crit damage. Uh, but we don't have fodder for leveling it past that, so yay. Uh, also, I just remembered I was supposed to do weekly bosses instead of artifacts. God damn it. <laughs> Whoops, do I have resin? I do. I'm a smart boy. I saved my things. Use my trazine resin. I didn't use that. Thank you. Thank you. Pass me for remembering. I forgot I needed to save to do that. So let's go do some weekly bosses. Uh, I think we're doing Signora and Chai as normal. I think that's what all my characters use. Yep, you use Signora. I think you use Child. Yep, you use Child. I know Zhao uses Child. I think you use Child. Yeah, or no, use it, use it to ball. Okay, we're doing, yeah, I already did the ball in this week, so we're doing Miss Senora and Mr. Child. The world constant over the centuries. Go up. We're going to use Shenha, or Shenha. We're going to use, we're going to take advantage of Shenha. We're going to use Rosaria. Never mind, we're not, because someone else is playing, oh, I'm playing Rosaria. Where's the missing person? Flock. Is, is, is Flock dead? Rip, rip Flock. Get Yunjin normals to level 3, please. Uh, yes, I should. Yes, I should. Can I... It's not going to let me resend. Okay. Let me let me exit out. Um, I should, yes, level up Yunjin's normals to level 3. 
what uh, is this is this today it is not today i will try to remember to do that tomorrow <laughs> i definitely need to level up our normals I, I prefer to get to level six actually but yes level three is very easy to get to like with one or two runs of, of the domain so There we go. Okay, I'll do Miss Rosaria. Although this lady does have a cryo phase, so you know, maybe not the best strategy in hindsight, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. You're Is it the cold or just I don't die against bosses ever, so it, it'll be fun. Look at that. Two thousand. I'm almost dead already. What the heck? Uh, give me a second while I switch my NRE. Keep me alive, my friends. Uh, the, the, where's the... There it is. Switch it over to some chickens. I'm alive. Yay. Alright, next phase. And I'm dying here. Eat some more chicken. Go open some chests in the leeway that might give me three of Yunjin's talent mats. That is fair, yes. Uh, maybe we should do that. We'll see how much time we have after we finish the co op event. Smack. You're walking with a limp in real life or in game? Is it in game, I would say just walk it off. In, if it's in real life, I would say just walk it off. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully, if it's in real life, I hope you recover soon. I'm talking to Kobe and Chad. I should probably clarify that. Oh, there's one over there. Hello. That's cool. Schmick. I want to level up a Cryo Goblet just for testing out a Cryo Rosarian co-op, I think. But, probably, actually, maybe we will do that today. Maybe we will level up a Cryo Goblet today. Friends, we'll get that one artifact to level 12. See if it doesn't real crit damage. And then, uh, we'll uh, maybe fodder it into one of my, like, five Cryo Goblets that have a crit line. I've gotten so many more cryo damage goblets in this account than I have in my main account ever. It's kind of crazy. This ga this account loves cryo damage goblets. And of course there's the hydro goblet that we don't speak of. Hu Tao's dead, as normal. Hu Tao and Zhao are best buddies, always being dead. You will leave the stream? Okay. Bye, Ashikuro. Thanks for joining. Ah. I hate this boss so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is a miserable boss. A miserable boss. Fun boss. This is, a, you know, fun. Just like slightly moving around in the corner here. Take your true form. Just, yeah, just kill this, please. Oh god, really? Oh. Wait. Oh my god, did you really go invulnerable against Strahm? I I'm using food, by the way, and I can't. Oh, I'm max maximum fullness. Oh, that explains it. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Rip. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This might be substantially easier in single player. Genshin true endgame is farming more. Yeah, and also trying to beat bosses in co op. How much more do I have? If you're talking to me, I think I have like 3 million. I spent a lot for leveling up Yunjin and her artifacts. No, Shenha. All right, Raiden Shogun, we believe. We believe. You 
kill her in lore, you can kill her in, in stream. I'm losing hope, but I believe... I, I, I've lost hope. No longer believe. <laughs> Put chicken in your pockets to heal? I did have chicken in my pocket. I couldn't heal because my fullness was full. So, you know. Your friend has 50 million more? Does he not... Does, does your friend not build any characters? That's insane. How do you have 50 million more? I mean, I guess if they're like a mega goal or something, or they just really like claiming ley lines? I just... I hate artifacts, so I'm just going to do ley lines all day. It seems weird to me, but I don't know. Different strokes for different folks? Let's go heal... What? Why? Oh, did someone leave? Someone left. Okay. Goodbye to whoever left. Bye, Ray. Thanks for joining. Oh, Ray is re... Oh, no. Coyote is rejoining. It seems like a play on Toyota or something. She does build. She has all characters, friendship, 10, and her hoot out is 1 million at C1, and she's free to play. What the heck? How do you have 50 million more? It's, it's crazy. How did, how, did, how did she have? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Whatever. Uh, I, f I, I feel like she probably has not invested a ton of resin into artifacts. Presumably, she probably likes having a surplus of Mora so she can you know max out a character anytime she wants. That's my impression of that. Which is not necessarily a bad idea, but 50 million seems excessive. Why? Well, anyways, let's let's try this again. I think I'm going to try Yunjin here this time, actually, since uh, we were not successful. Oh, oh, your, oh, your Shen has on her support build now. Okay, never mind. I will, I will try, I will try Rosaria again then. Unless Kobe wants to do Rosaria, that's fine. A Rosaria is not a cryo build, so if your, if your Rosaria is on a cryo build, Kobe, feel free to play Rosaria. Sorry for leaving, Susanna. You got a shower. That's fair. That's fair. Showering is probably more important than dying to Senora. Just saying. So yeah, Kobe, if you want to do Rosaria, I will I'll let you do Rosaria. Protect, particularly if it's a cryo build. <laughs> that would make more sense. Alright, let's go. <laughs> You're trembling. I'm trembling. Or just cowardice. No, it's just annoyance because you're an annoying boss. Seems like less damage output than before. Hmm. We did lose a riding choke on. Keyboard got updated, and there's now too many unknown buttons sent out. How, what do you mean? Like your keyboard got physically updated? Or, or are you talking about like your mobile keyboard? Oh, okay. Sorry, PC PC gamer mentality there. I was very confused for a second. I was like, what do you mean your keyboard got updated? It has more buttons. Uh, yeah, on your phone though, that makes sense, I suppose. Uh, I would say use a different keyboard. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Can the bug spawn? Oh my god. Oh god, one more. This boss is so much more annoying in co-op. Oh, 
Oh, rip. Rosari's dead. All right. So we have two support characters and a DPS that drains his own health. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. And, and a boss fight that drains your health constantly. Oh boy. I don't think you should destroy that yet, Zhao. There's, there's no... You want to save destroying those until there's a bunch of shit on the ground. Eat chicken, Joe. Eat chicken. Look at them normal numbers. 1,000, 2,000. Bam, bam. Oh, of course you went into that mode. Ten thousand, beam. Three thousand. I don't understand why they made Yunjin's burst damage scale on attack. By the way, doesn't make any sense. Doesn't really matter, but it would be nice if it's scale on defense. That's like probably the only complaint I have about Yunjin's kit, honestly. No, nope. oh boy. Do we have things left? Oh god, we don't have things left. Yeah, this is why you don't want to destroy those things too early. We cannot destroy this one. We gotta leave it. Your school has a lake? Like like a lake you swim in? Your, your school have like swimming classes in a lake? That's crazy. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh wait, now I guess we should probably should kill it. Never mind. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, I'm really dead. Oh god, there's nowhere safe to stand. Oh god. Oh, oh they, they respawned. They respawned. I didn't know I did that. Or was I just blind and there was, there was one the whole time? Uh oh. That was not good. Oh shit. Oh god. This ain't good. Time for perfect parries? Oh, that was not time for. Why do you have to run into the fight corner with fire? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, everything's miserable. Please just die. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Bam. We might have to do this boss in single player. <laughs> this boss is much easier in single player. Oh boy. Uh, let's 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 go here. Oh come on, you freaking jerk! I hate this boss fight so much. Just oh, I'm full. I'm full. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Cause I'm full. Great. Cool. Good boss fight. Good design. Okay, we're doing this boss in single player. <laughs> Okay, and I'm still burning because this boss fight is stupid. Yeah, cool. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go fight child. I'm gonna see two Zhongli. Absolutely not. We wouldn't like more characters than just see two Zhongli. Got Yoimiya and her signature. Congrats. You took a big big risk wishing on that weapon banner. <laughs> Glad it worked out for you, but I would recommend not doing that again in the future. Uh, we're going to fight Mr. Child, and we'll go into single player, and then we'll go back into co-op. For the, for the event. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, we're getting Sino probably, maybe, in the first half. He feels like a first half of 3.1 character, so, you know, we're probably going to be going... Zhongli straight to Sino, which is a bit rough Prima gem wise if we lose the 50 50 like we if we lose the 50 50 um on Zhongli we're going to have to we're gonna have to do a lot of quests and a lot of exploration to get enough primos for Sino I think 
but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll keep on using Yunjin here. I'm enjoying Yunjin. She's fun. I'll practice more parries. Should definitely level up her normals, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. This opportunity is quite Should I save for Kokomi or Zhongli? I like Kokomi more than Zhongli. Um, I'm probably gonna go for... On my main account, I, I'm like 30 away from, from Pity. I'm probably gonna go to Pity on my main account for Zhongli. Um, only because I don't really care for Tignory. Um, I already have Kokomi. I already have Ganyu, so, you know. Um, Zhongli is useful as like a, a flex, flex in support character. So any team like you have a four slot that you don't care who it is, Zhongli fits in there perfectly. He, he applies like a universal debuff for physical damage and elemental damage, right? So I like Zhongli just for that specifically. And that's honestly the only reason I really care about him. I don't really care about, uh, on my main account, I prefer healing over just shield bot go. Um, so... You know, I think having to, you know, intentionally heal is a more active playstyle versus just Zhongli is holy and never take damage except for against corrosion enemies. So, you know, anyways, um, I don't actually like Zhongli's kit that much. I find his playstyle kind of boring. Other than, it's fun to, I think a DPS Zhongli just trying to get that nuke, his burst as high as damage as possible is fun. But for the polearm account, we want him because, you know, healers are not really a thing. So, you know. What? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we'll do. If we get DPS artifacts for Zhongli, we'll try DPS Zhongli. We could do a mixed DPS in the long term. Mixed DPS, mixed support with like, um, uh, you know, let's say like a crit rate, you know, two piece to Nasi, two piece to Noblesse or something like that. So that's my, my, but might be what we do long term. Uh, Child was very easy. No surprise. Child is usually easy. Uh, no dream solvent. Cruel game. How cruel. What's this? Uh, this is a terrible artifact, but it still has the potential to be the best artifact in our best attack percent piece because of the fact that it could have crit damage. So, you know what? It's worth rolling to level four <laughs> to see if it rolls crit damage. That's definitely a copia piece because the mineral crit rate on a three line with two other bad stats is very bad. But... Anyways, I like Kokomi more than Zhongli, so my recommendation is Kokomi. Uh, but yeah. Let's go see if we have enough to level up this to 12. I don't think we do. Definitely don't. We need to fight Senor, I think. Yeah, we need to fight Senora. Okay, okay. Let's let's go fight Senora. Um, so, should I give should I give these people's one more chance? Should I give these these guys one more chance to kill Senora? What what does chat say? Should I give Kobe Flock and and Coyotia one more chance? Well, where did I just I just fell down. One more chance, but use Rosaria. Okay. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully whoever had Rosaria before, I think it was Kobe. Oh, I'm almost at 40 resin. Oh, wait, no, that's because I used the transient resin. Um, okay, I'll use Rosaria again. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, y'all need to heal up, though. Okay, you healed. Good, good, good. Is my Rosaria healed? I didn't, I didn't check that. I should probably check that. Yes, goody. Shanghai, you're you're uh Oh you're okay. Good job. Shenha's not used to society, floors are complicated for her. You hope you win your 13 50 50? I hope you do too. I ho I really, really hope, oh man. Zhongli, the Zhongli 50 50 is probably the most important 50 50 on this account. Like, because that will enable us to definitely get uh, Sino. And then after that, it's just kind of, we should have enough time, most likely, to save four characters. Unless we get screwed by, like, win characters rerun, like, if Shenha and Raiden Shogun rerun the same month or something. We're not, nothing we can do about that. But, um, 
the, the this is like the, the this Zhongli to Sino is the most the time where our our primo gem supply is going to be the closest <laughs> and it's really really nice really 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 nice to win that 50 50. it's going to be a bit sucky for getting Sino if we don't win the 50 50. Awesome, the Sumeru Genshin anime. If you talk about the little short that they released yesterday, it looked really nice. I would love to see a uh, anime of Genshin. I feel like they could, the dialogue would probably be better in the anime than it would be in the game. I imagine. Oh, well, almost dead! Holy crap! Ah, no, 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 no! Oh my god! I've used like 30 chicken, by the way, in this fight so far. Not not this individual fight. Why is Toyota? Why is Toyota? Toyota, why are you frozen? You're supposed to be a reliable vehicle. Just trying to get this low so we can destroy it if needed. See no bugs. Oh, there's a bug. Hello. Hit. There we go. Hope to get two Zhonglis at 20. Ow. Ow. Stop shooting my A. Two Zhonglis. Okay, I'll let you get that. Um, two Zhonglis at 20 pity. And then another one at 80. So you want C2 Zhongli and like 100 wishes. That's some that's some hopeful wishing, I will say. But best of luck to you. I feel like Zhongli constellations are not that valuable. But you do you. Oh, there's the last bug. I'll let you out get it. <laughs> Alright, let's not die here. This is the annoying one. Oh, Raiden Shogun's already dead. Good, 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 good start. Oh dear. Embrace your searing reckoning. Embrace your searing reckoning. Now it's going to be much more annoying. Oh, didn't mean to die that. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I think this is the best we've done so far. I hate this. You also can, like, because of the fact that like, the camera is almost always, like, lower, you can never see what her attack animations are for her whip, even. So I don't even know. Like, even if you know her attack animations, right? I don't know how meaningfully you can dodge them, especially since they're such a big AoE. Oh boy. Oh good, this phase. Oh, just you and me, Shenha. Just you and me. Thankfully, I think we make a pretty decent combo. Ah. Ah. Your ping is so bad? Ah, I see. That explains. That explains why you weren't moving. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't help with that at all. Oh, ah, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm full. I'm full. Crap. Oh boy. Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, this is a problem, Shenna. I, I, I'm dead. I'm dead. Rip. I believe. Where, where are you? Oh boy. You are very close to dead. I believe. I believe in you. I... Well, single player it is. <laughs> Stop taking damage from the... Oh, my God. All right. Uh, thank you, Kobe, Flock, uh, Coyotia. I'm going to go to single player so we can beat this lady quick. And then uh, we'll let some more people... Oh, I have mail. Oh, yeah, the daily check-in. And events ending. Yes, that's why we got to do the things. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, yes. You can try to rejoin once... Uh, once uh, 
69 viewers. Nice. Uh, I almost said quick game. That's not quit the game. You try to rejoin for the co-op event. I don't need healers. It will be fun. Yeah. Look, that fight is designed poorly, in my opinion. But, anywho. Um, let's go claim our daily rewards, I guess. Uh, no, heal, claim daily rewards, and then go fight the lady. That fight in particular is kind of brutal without a healer. Also without a shielder. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we'll probably just switch to Toma Zhongling. Well, Zhongling is not going to be dealing much damage in the pyro phase, so I think Yunjin actually probably makes more. So, Lutoma, Yunjin, Zhao, Rosaria, of course. Yeah, you don't need healers, you just gotta get good. Yes, exactly, exactly. You got the good mentality there. Why am I at this? This is not where I want it to be. What AR am I? I think we're at AR 51. Yes, we are three quarters of the way to AR 52, which gives us one standard wish. Get excited for that one standard wish. Our dreams will come true with that one standard wish. John Lane can drop her Guoba at ice to break it faster. That's fair, but I think the potential utility of the Pyro Shield, um, like this is actually Toma's time to shine against this boss. So I think the potential utility of Toma's shield here has, just to make it easier, is is good. Uh, start. I'm gonna pull for the new characters when they come out. Well, Sino from the new animation is, is no longer leaked information. Um, we did not do the co-op event yet. We'll be doing co-op after we, uh, after we beat, beat Senora's booty here. Um, yes, we'll pull, we'll pull for Sino, because she is rumored to be a polearm, or she, he, Sino is a polearm character. We know he is a polearm from the video now, for sure. Uh, there's another polearm character leaked that has a four star. We will probably be pulling for as well. Hopefully she's on Sino's banner, but we'll see. Freezing to death. Let's get these low. Okay, and we got energy from that. And of course, he just warps. Okay, let's. This fight is so annoying. Get energy up the next phase. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I just, I'm lazy. That's why I'm doing this. I don't feel like doing this phase slow. Screw this phase. I'm doing so little damage still. Okay, Jow the never crit boy. Jow, can you crit? Thank you. Oh my god. Jow, like, never crit there. And I was almost dead. No. God damn it. Please. There we go. Alright. Uh, oh, there's not a thing there. Heal whoops. Heal Zhao quick. Okay. Heal you. Heal you. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I got Deathmatch on Zhao, and I got Rosaria on the Jade Spear, because I am apparently a Rosaria stan, but also because I value increasing Rosaria's damage a little bit more. With our artifacts that we have set up, it actually just makes a little bit more sense right now. Jade Spear might go on back on Zhao eventually, but oh, Jade Spear also might just be used on any, any main DPS that we're using, because it's our best you know, DPS spear. Surprise! You know, five-star spear, that's a general use good spear for any attack scaling character is good. Yay. Embrace your searing reckoning. Right, we're gonna go here. Oh, hello, I didn't see you go there. Not every 
wound will heal. Bugs up. Unleash. Don't get too close. Keep up forgetting to switch to Toma. I'm not in the habit of switching to Toma since I've <laughs> gotten you Jin, so you know. Oh, can I switch? Thank you. Oh my god. No! She just went right out of the range. God damn it. Oh, really? Really? Stop! Okay. Got you. We should cool down first, and then um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just destroy this too, actually. Is this? Oh, you freaking bottles! Chop! How did I not hit with a normal port? I, I, I definitely made a normal attack there to, to do Toma Shield. Oh gosh, okay, 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 let's go here. I didn't hit that apparently. I shouldn't have broken that yet. Whoops. Ah, this boss fight, man. Oh my god, the just the fucking fight. Oh, I, just, just this this boss fight, I'm sorry. It's just stupid. Stop warping. Oh, I I did not I think she might have been full. I thought I hit. I I thought I had hit the button there. Oh god damn it! Am I gonna lose? Stop! Oh my god! You actual butthole. <sighs> really? You just put fire down as soon? Oh, I can't. Are you serious? Stop. Didn't get any energy from that because she warped as soon as I hit the... I hate this boss fight so much. Such an obnoxious boss fight. My god. Oh gosh. You stop warping. Oh, my God. I would have had her dead there if she didn't just do this again. Hi. <sighs> Stop warping. Yep, yep. I think we figured that would happen. Great. 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 This fucking boss. I'm sorry. This boss is the shittiest design boss in this game. Like. Like, I remember, keep in mind, I functionally have a healer. Right? By, by having food available to me. I just didn't have enough food because despite the fact that I'm playing this boss fight how you're supposed to play this boss fight they have designed it such a speed such a pain in the dick that with shielders healing and constant invulnerability phases and constant things where you take damage for walking because you know that's a thing you're not allowed to do in this game um you know by the way yes I could have gone into my inventory and just paused in single player and healed which you know what I don't feel like fighting this again so we're gonna do that but like, I shouldn't have to do this.
I should not have to do this. Um, wait, who do I heal? Uh, not not Yunjin, obviously. So cooldown wise, right? It would take too long, maybe, for the cooldowns to come back on Zhao. But I think Zhao might be the best bet. I think Zhao's the safer bet. A pizza? No, but I have no. It's not a radish. Shoot. Oh, that, that actually would work. But I don't. I didn't. Why did I make this? That seems like actually a good healing. I know I should make more of those. Oops. Really? It did not look like it should have hit me. Just die, please. Garbage boss fight. Good two artifacts and no dream solvent. Uh, I need dream solvent. Really need dream solvent. Yay, garbage. Yay, probably mm -hmm, maybe maybe we really really want crit damage on that. So that's a that's a hard maybe. Oh, the bots are back. Yay. Report. All right, got bot done. There we go. Okay. Screw that boss fight. That was like five minutes of my life wasted. Okay. Um, let's go heal and then feel free to join co-op again whenever you guys are ready because we'll do the event. We'll do the event. Welcome again, Flock. Yay. Healed up. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's. Oh, yes, the artifact. Duh. Artifacts. Level this up. Nozomi, welcome. And flight attack. K is dead as heck. Cool. Kobe, welcome back. Is an Amber, Outrider Prime, I would let you in, but unfortunately I already let three people in. Sorry, I have no idea who you are, but I've not seen you before. But you have an Amber profile picture. You know what, as, I want to, do you have like a, do you have like a main DPS Amber? Is that what you have? I, I need to see that. Um, what's your, oh wait, you're not going to show up on here because you're not actually a teammate. Um, Outrider Prime, if you're in chat, throw me, throw me your UID. I want to check out your, I want to check out your Amber, if that's a main DPS Amber. I want to see it. Want to see it? Um. Okay. So let's. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, the artifacts. So that artifact was garbage. So this is this is now bad. I mean, yeah, two flat attack rolls. It's it's no longer good. No longer any hope of being usable. So I mean, it's well. I say that, but it's it could still become better than this piece, which is sad. <laughs> We're not going to roll it anymore. It's not worth it. Anyways, uh, let's go to this piece. What, what is this? I apparently never finished leveling this up to 16. How far away is it? It's very close. Wow. Well, not... Th th yeah, let's do that. Oh. Wow. Okay, this artifact might be our best... Or no, we have a better... We have a better one, right? Yeah, we have this piece. So, considering the, the low roll, this is a low roll city for crit damage compared to this, which is all high rolls. Uh, and it has attack percent. This is a much worse piece. So, I'm not going to level this up to 25 anytime soon. Uh, or to 25. What is wrong with my brain? What am I smoking? Um, it is, is much worse than this piece. Much, 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 much worse. But, it's not a bad thing to have as an option for a character. So. This is Outrider Prime, by the way. Nice, cool. Uh, yeah, throw your UID in there. Make sure you put some like text with your UID, like hit, put UID and then put your UID in here. Uh, Cause I don't see it right now. If you put just your UID, I don't think it will uh, let you. Cause YouTube likes to block it if it's just numbers. So 
Make sure you have like text with it. Uh, anyways, where there, I thought there was another artifact. We got. Yeah, there's the feather, right? Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, although we need to fodder something into it. Um, this piece? Do we sacrifice a potentially good piece for it? And this piece isn't isn't that good. It's a it's a three line. It's got three good stats actually. Maybe I should keep this. But well, it's I don't know. I feel like I'd prefer this. Any this is a really bad piece, but like. Yeah, if you, if you put like UID in that uh, outrider, if you put UID in then your UID, I think it'll work. Um, the, the letters UID. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we just use five star artifacts? Do we? Is that is that how to appease the Mahoyo gods? You you fodder. Actually, no. Let's just appease Mahoyo by sacrificing this piece. All right, I have faith. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna times five to twenty and roll crit damage and roll entirely crit rate and crit damage. If it does, I'll give away a copy. Welkin. It didn't. Okay. I mean, it rolled attack percent. Um. But I don't, I don't think I have any reason to roll this further. Sad. All right. You're gonna go to your friend's house, so you're excited for that. Very nice, very nice. Uh, if if you're going right now, you, you can play your you can play your liar right now if you want. Knows me. You're jet lagged. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, if you're tired, you don't have to play. I don't know. No pressure. It's just if you want to play the liar, open to letting you play the liar. Go full emblem for Zhongli. Oh yeah, that that probably is the best way to to do DPS nuke Zhongli, but we're probably. Maybe we'll we'll mess around with that eventually in the future. Anyways, let's go do the garbage event. Let's go do not not the pot. Go to the apple archipelago. Um, I don't I don't have the quest selected. Where is? Where is? Oh god. This? No, not that. This? Yes. What? I have to exit Koa. Okay. Well, sorry. Um, you're not going right now. Okay. Plus, you want to learn something new. Right, well, I'm going to have to kick people out. Um, so, freaking, freaking, like, why, what, the, the co-op event, the co-op event. You can't start the co-op quest in co-op. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I'm sorry, Mahoyo, what is wrong with you? Like, oh, god damn, keep coming freaking T-bomb. Uh, like, just, what? Well, look at my art. Oh, yeah, ah, Jesus, sorry, Ray, I totally forgot. Um, let me, here, well, we'll let this autoplay while I, um, I gotta click on things. Uh, let me go grab the art quick and try to bring it up on stream. I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. Ray made some freaking amazing art. Um, fan art, I should specify. Not just random art. <laughs> I I could spend all day doing random art, of course. But oh, let's. Uh, da, da, da. Bam! There we go. It's open in my browser, which I can just switch to my browser. You know, Paimon's got more dialogue for us. Okay, okay, there we go. Let's come on, skip through this dialogue. Let's go, let's go. Alright, is that it? Yes, okay. Tutorials, yes, I've already played these. I know how they work, kind of. They, they weren't really complicated. Alright, so people can join back into co op. Uh, this is now just giving me tutorials, I assume. Yeah, it's. What, what get, get, out, get out of here, you stupid exclamation points. Welcome back, knows me. Welcome back, block. Oh. I saw I saw the UID for for Outrider Amber. By the way, I will check theirs out in a second. All right, let me let me let me see. Let me let me see if I can bring this this art quick because Ray made some awesome art. It is they, it deserves to be shown off. Just saying. Da, 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 da. Welcome, Kobe.
There we go. Magic. Uh, let's zoom in over there. There we go. You don't get to see my browser tabs. They're secrets. There's actually nothing really meaningful there. Um, there you go. Look at this amazing art. There, let me, let me switch the window so I can actually zoom in. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I don't look this good in real life, by the way. <laughs> Just, yeah. Anyways, uh, so for those that don't know, so Luna is sun and moon. So you got a sun earring, you know, a moon earring. You got like a moon and sun eye. Got constellations. It's the awesome gradient in blue and pink. I like blue and pink. They asked me what colors. Like, damn. Like, damn good job. Like, is, is, is much sexier than me. <laughs> I do not look this good. But it is it is dope. If I ever make a VTuber model, it'll probably be based on this in some form. So thank you very much. Oh well, if I have your permission to do that, of course. <laughs> but, um No no not doing that soon. Just saying. But yeah, there's all kinds of nice details here. It's, you know, it's got stars in the background, of course. Um I really like that. It's great. Ten out of ten. I say. I mean I'm not an art art critic, so I'm not gonna like critique the specific aspects of art. I love it. I will say it's amazing. Do a face reveal? No, <laughs> no. This is my face reveal. Look at my face. This is a perfect one to run rendition of my face. Ray is a a god. They they know exactly what I look like. This is me. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ray. It was amazing. Fix that. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely me in drawing form. It's perfect, realistic rendition of me. 10 out of 10 rendition. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, I know. Tutorials. Thanks. Oh, I need to go copy that UID before I forget. No, other person. One second. Okay. Let me copy Outrider Amber's UID. So I don't forget that. If you're still watching, yell at me if I forget by chance to to just uh, check it out later. I want to see. I want to see a main DPS Amber. All right, I like that we have to. I really wish there was just like a ready screen. I don't like that you had to wait like a minute straight here <laughs> to, to actually start the event. It's just annoying. You know, Soul is black. I'm not black actually, but y yes, me. You know, maybe that aspect was not. 100% correct. <laughs> the hair length is actually pretty close, but the hair is not as like perfectly. F How do I, I? I'm not good at describing hair. The, the hair in the art was not like perfectly. I have more straight hair, is I guess what I would say. I do not have curly ass hair. It wasn't really curly hair, but I don't. Why did I? I jumped off the wrong side. I am a good teammate. What's my race? I am a white boy. And I am... I wear the whitey tighties over my skin. That was a weird way to describe myself as white, but I am white. <laughs> I'm the whitest? Wow. Don't give them more information, Mr. Brett. I know Brett in real life. He's seen my actual face. He knows what I look like. But funnily enough, he doesn't know what I look like right now with my long hair. Because he hasn't seen my face for like a year. <laughs> or two. Um, but. Whoops. Goodbye, Elytro. Um, oh, goodbye me. Goodbye. But yeah. According to Mr. Brett, I am the whitest. How dare you give them that information. The sun and moon earrings are accurate. Yeah. I'm not against the idea of wearing earrings. I just like don't care enough about my look in general to actually go to the effort of like purchasing earrings or anything or anything. So, you know, I'm all for like, that's part of the reason I actually am growing my hair out. I'm all for um, fuck gender norms, right? So like, I like the feeling of long hair. Do I think I look better with it? Not necessarily. I definitely not like to go to typical social standards of what a white male should look like but i like the feeling of long hair and you know what i don't give a shit that most people don't like how i look with it so um 
that's kind of all it comes down to. And when it comes to like stuff like earrings and clothing or whatever, it's just like I have having to actually spend money on it intentionally and it is a step I haven't taken because I just don't care that much. I'm not even in public that much. Ah, goddamn, I just fell between the cracks. Ah. Um So, anyways, I oh, I thought I was going to miss. All right. I I'm just, I'm just not hitting anything. Okay. Well, goodbye. I just yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Is it long hair because of world events or something I was going for? Initially, it was just I didn't cut my hair for a while because of COVID. And then I was like, I actually like the feeling of long hair. And then, oh, we're done. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I feel like I put in a lot of effort there. Um, what? Anyways, what was I saying? I don't remember. 500. I think that's exactly what you need for the reward. So good. <laughs> But yeah, so long hair was initially just, you know, not getting a haircut because of like COVID hair, hair, whatever places, the $10 haircut shops were closed. Um, and then it was just like, hey, I like the feeling of long hair. And then I cut my hair um, because my mom kept on annoying me about it. But then and now in the last year, I'm like, no, I straight up like, regret cutting my hair last year. Like my hair would be much longer than it is right now. I have not succumbed to peer pressure. Uh, or family pressure, I say it's less peer pressure, more family pressure. So, uh, anyways, and now I'm very like, no, I am not cutting my hair, even though I have to put more effort into like, actually making my hair look nice. Cause like, usually I don't, <laughs> it just like, it just, uh, it's just ugly most of the time. Sometimes it looks nice by accident. Anyways. Uh, so your idea, my idea of you, my, as, me as an elf boy is accurate with the hair. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The, the straight hair is, yeah, slightly more accurate to my actual hair than in, in your in your sketch nose of me than, than the uh, floofy hair. But the general length is correct in Ray's image. Right now I have, like, approximately a shoulder length hair. But not all of my... It's not universal. I should probably get a haircut. Not, not cut my hair off, but get a haircut to, like, make it look nicer. <laughs> Because right now it's just like however it grew naturally, basically. And I'm, and I, yeah, I am enjoying, you know, changing up how I look. It's because most of my life I just I have not, you know, intentionally chosen how I looked. Yeah, there's parts of my hair that are like much longer, like you know, like the, the hair obviously on that grows in the back of my head goes down to like slightly past my neck even um but then the other rest of my hair does not match it so you know, i don't know i don't know i'm not like I, I need to like learn more about hair in general and how to manage long hair do i make my hair into a ponytail i don't think i have enough hair to do a ponytail yet maybe i do i don't know i haven't tried actually i don't know how to so that's what i was talking like i need to i need to actually like learn how to do like i don't even know how to fucking like tie my hair in a bun <laughs> like to get my hair out of like my 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 like the back of my neck like my hair is long enough to do like a you know a man bun whatever I think at this point but anyways it's not super long it's it's long enough to do something with it and i just do nothing with it right now because i haven't bothered learning it was laziness i really just don't think about it that much but i should think about it more your hair is like tree roots that's interesting You really want to cut your hair so you can wash it regularly so it doesn't poof up. But your parents won't let you your parents won't let you cut your hair? That's weird. So you you have the opposite problem. <laughs> my parents want me to cut my hair. The big grip hair clips are life suit. Good to know. I, I think I know what you're talking about. I've s i have have a sister, so I'm familiar with hair products sitting around everywhere. I think I know what you're talking about with big hair clips. Crocodile clips. Okay. This co-op event is super boring, by the way. It's like, I don't know, there's, I feel like it's just like super whatever. It's like, yay, we get to jump around on platforms and collect coins for a few minutes and fight really easy enemies. They could have done so much more with a unique co-op event, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. They could have done so much more for co-op. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with this event. It's kind of lame. It's kind of... 
It's just, it's just like it's basically just more of mindless co-op activity that you normally do in Genshin, anyways, rather than trying to do something unique with co-op. Right? So it's it's kind of lame. Just saying, for a co-op required event, it's kind of lame. You're sad your hair was cut by one millimeter. How dare they cut one millimeter off of your hair? That's a con that one millimeter of hair is a complete perceptual difference. Unless you mean unless you mean one meter. Then that's very big. One millimeter, though, does not seem like a meaningful amount of hair. In the process of dying, growing your hair out again, so you can re-dye it. Nice. Whoa, oh, that was that was the end apparently. All right. First to complete the challenge. How dare you! <coughs> Four hundred forty. Okay. Well, I don't think we got the last rewards, but I honestly don't think I care. Saluna so has B barking on all fours. I'm assuming B was meant to be me. Um, <laughs> that's a little weird. Just say it. Yup. Two out of three rewards. Uh, what do you need for the last reward? I think it's just 500 points. I, I had the same issue on my main account. I played it like four times. I played this one four times on my main account and could not get 500. And I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> it's, just, it's not worth it. Um, I, I I think I don't care here either. It's not it's not fun enough to try to do multiple times in my opinion for the non primo gem rewards. Like I don't I don't think we need this. So I'd say whatever. Let's just do the do the rest of the challenge here. If we have time. Yeah, like we're we're about two on the stream. You know what I might do? I might do my character creation in Tower of Fantasy after this. Although that might trigger a rant, so maybe I won't. No, I didn't start the thing. I don't. I, you hate boat mode? Yeah, the boat the boat one was definitely the worst one. I want to dye the ends of your hair purple, but your parents won't let me because they're scared it will turn you goth. <laughs> Purple is the the color of Satan. The rants are what people are here for. Yes, but the, the so the problem is actually a YouTube problem where like this VOD is going to show up like as a Genshin VOD, right? Like no one. If I want people to watch it for Tower of Fantasy, I want to like have a thumbnail for Tower of Fantasy. Um, so I rant. I want to rant about Tower of Fantasy. If I'm gonna name, particularly because my plan is to name the the stream Tower of Rants, and um, I want, you know, the rants to be contained in the actual Tower of Fantasy stream rather than doing this one and doing two games in this one. I wouldn't mind the the the, the character creation is not that important. I don't think, uh, unless unless the character creation makes me rant. <laughs> but uh, so maybe I'll maybe I'll just wait. I'll probably just wait. You know, if I'm streaming again later, I uh, will we'll just have this stream be shorter and I'll stream again later today. Um, when when exactly? Um, I don't know, uh, probably after I eat. It probably won't be that long later, but I, w I would say don't stay up for it if you have to sleep. But yes, I, I would have to do two separate streams for two separate games, basically, because of how YouTube works. I mean, Twitch is the same way sometimes, um, but YouTube in particular, because it's saved as like a VOD, like a video, I can't get that, um, uh, like a video on the channel. You want to do, you want to like end the stream and start the stream again for another game. Otherwise it like, can screw it. Uh, the, the algorithm for recommendation systems and yada yada. But the the main reason to potentially stream out the same thing is I might actually get more viewers, right? So like I have 50 viewers now, and if I just switch to Tower of Fantasy, you know, I potentially will keep, I don't know, 50% of those viewers or something. I have no idea how many, how many people would stay versus having it actually like with a thumbnail for Tower of Fantasy uh, might have less viewers might but it also might get four viewers depending on youtube's magical recommendation system right so we i don't know but i think it's generally better to separate it out for at least for anyone that wants to find it and watch it in the future right are we are we already done with this one i think we're done with this one already all right exciting yeah. 
you would stay and just listen to my voice. That's fair. That's what a lot of people apparently like this stuff for. It's just listening to me talk in general. Um, what direction am I heading? There's someone that's still at the island, so I got confused. Where, where am I heading? I am actually confused. Am I heading this direction? No, this is where we started. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, who was who stuck over there? Is Flock, Flock's just AFK over there? Flock, if, you get, if your internet's dead or something, or if you're AFK, I should let someone else in. We'll see if they're still AFK after this. YouTube has been pushing tower for in tower of whatever's live stream, so it's probably best to make a new stream. Oh my god. I just I wanna get the coins. I don't know how many coins we need for the rewards, but I figure we should get some of the coins. Oh no, it's a bot. really gotta look up there there is definitely utilities like third-party utilities for calling these bots that are much better at calling the bots than youtube's own baloney so i definitely need to look into that i just keep forgetting i never remember their existence until after or during the stream which is my bad but like yeah goodbye sir where's another enemy Oh, up there. Oh, he dead. Here we go. Is Flock still AFK? Yup. Okay. Where? Where's my boat? There it is. <laughs> Might visit the dating site if it gives you a chance to salute it. It will not give you a chance because I... I don't think there's anyone legitimate on that dating site. It's probably just trying to scam people out of money. But I can guarantee you, I definitely am not on that dating site. I am going the wrong direction. God damn it. <laughs> Where's my boat? Okay, just whatever. Whatever to the, whatever to the coins. I'm not sure if it works on YouTube, but Nightbot has a thing to get rid of bots instantly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that is one of them I need to look into. There's also, I forgot what it's called, but some dude just like made an, an open source utility that just like, like he literally spent like a few days making something that's like better than what YouTube themselves made. It's just, like a really sad example of like, how does a giant company like YouTube do this much worse than some random dude that had the knowledge to do it in like a few hours? Why don't I switch over to Twitch for streams? Mostly because a lot of people on YouTube have said they don't really want me to switch over to Twitch. Um, I I should probably, and also because I don't, I haven't I haven't wanted to put in the effort of trying to like make a Twitch channel. Like, I'm not into the whole Twitch culture thing myself and being like, hey, I, I'm a streamer, sub to me, everyone, you know. So, I mean, maybe I should because that's how you make money doing this. But like, I make shit all doing this right now. Just saying. Um, so maybe I should become more of a generic Twitch streamer. I don't know. But, anyways, a lot of people on YouTube say they, like, don't even use Twitch, is basically what. But I should probably stream to both platforms at once. Okay, Twitch has better, like, community potential, I think. And, you know, cause it, because of the fact that it's less algorithm-based, I kind of like it. Right, because you're not relying, you're just, you're just, it, people are used to not getting just recommended things by YouTube, right? But anyways, is whatever at this point is kinda why. Um is there another where's the enemy? Oh right here. There we go. Yay. How exciting. Let's see we got five hundred points. We probably didn't Flock effectively cheered for other players in the team. <laughs> that is indeed what Flock did. Uh okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for your ch support from the sidelines, Flock. We appreciate you. Now, I think Flock is completely AFK. And despite the fact that you are Shen Hu, um, I think I got to kick you to let someone else join. You have 
You have 10 seconds to move your head. I got used to living in the mountains alongside the birds and beasts a long time ago. All right, Flock, I'm sorry. I think you're gone. Ah, oh, this is the wrong screen. Bye, Flock. Thanks for thanks for joining. I'm assuming you're just busy with something. But I want to let someone else in that wants to actually do this. <laughs> this this uh, event is kind of boring, so I imagine maybe I shouldn't have kicked you because there's it's it's not a good event. Is what I'll say. It's, it's kind of bad. It's just kind of bad. Alright, anyone else want to join? If not, I'll just... We'll just do it with three people, I guess. Which maybe then I should have let Flock stay here to cheer us on. Or, or... Okay, no one else is joining. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, someone else did. Oh, Flock! Well, I'm sorry. Welcome back. <laughs> Flock needs to be here to cheer us on. Welcome back, Shenna. Invited players teleporting. Okay. Nobody tell Flock I kicked them. <laughs> they probably just thought they got disconnected or something. You're back. Sorry for being long. It's all good. It's all good. You supported us with your cheerleading. We still got, like, the maximum rewards, so it was fine. <laughs> it was perfectly fine. Everyone's on EU server. Yeah, that makes sense for the time of the day, to be fair. Running around in circles for 30 seconds straight because for some reason there's not a ready system. Just like a little... Just like, It's just an annoying... A little layer of annoyance on top of... A already highly mediocre event. Flock just begging rewards while backbenching. Yeah, indeed. Oh, that's a good idea. Layers while while waiting. Oh, time to go. Did the, did the game audio just die? What just happened? Oh, there we go. Okay. The game audio completely stopped. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. We got the wind currents. It's the middle of the night for all of you. Are all the Americans dead? Apparently, yes. Americans hate me because... Uh, I don't know. Maybe because I hate Americans. <laughs> if you were to plop a random American in front of me, I'd probably be more annoyed at them than the random European. I will say that. Not saying I hate you because you're American, to be clear. <laughs> Just statistically speaking, because of the nature of like the political situation in America, you are likely to be someone who takes a stance on like, one side or the other, and I dislike you more if you're someone who just takes a stance on one side or the other and just like takes a blanket stance on issues. That's, that's my opinion on it. I am American, yes. So I'm saying I hate myself. Yes, exactly. Uh, where's the boat? There's the boat. There we go. The state of, like, literally almost everyone in America's personal beliefs is that, like, th this is a side effect of the internet and the side effect of, like, America, American culture and America's, uh, you know, two-party system, but, like, every I didn't mean to jump out of the boat there. Um, everyone basically... Uh, not everyone. Um, I, I don't consider myself to fall into this ever category, right? But, uh, so obviously it's not everyone in America. Other, oh, God damn it. So, 
Ah, uh, anyways. Uh, everyone in America, like, falls into the... It seems, tries to fall into, like, one out of the two of the camps, right? And by everyone, I mean some of the people. Uh, but it's a lot of people here, like, that you just interact with on a daily basis that just, like, start spouting things that are just, like, things they saw on Facebook that, like, have origins from, like, just propaganda from either side of the spectrum, right? And it's just, like, really frustrating seeing people, like, fall into, like, belief patterns that are just based on things they keep on seeing online rather than beliefs they founded because of experiences in their life and uh, conversation that's been had with people, like real conversation that's not just people screaming on Twitter. I just got an achievement for nice boat, okay. So, yeah, and, and it makes, makes it hard to be interested in getting to know people because it, Anytime I, like, start to, like, people just, like, tend to default to talking about this kind of shit, right? And it just immediately makes me, like, have a bad taste for, for that individual person when they start spouting off that stuff, like, random stuff uh, about whatever side of the team they believe themselves to be on, right? Um, right when you meet them, and I'm just like, cool. Nice to meet you. My name is Matt. Goodbye forever. That's my general opinion, even though like the healthier opinion is, or the healthier view would be to try to engage in actual conversation with these people, to try to change the flow of the narrative and try to make it so people are actually engaging because I'm part of the problem because of the fact that I don't want to have conversations with these people, right? I am part of that problem. I acknowledge that. Um, I just don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. I, I've lost the ability to care. And that's a problem and I acknowledge that. But oh well. Well, that was weird. Where did did he, he? His body like fell down and then died simultaneously here and in the water. We swap weather is a heat wave in the UK. Isn't there like a heat wave in the UK for like the past month? Isn't, like, everyone dying in the UK because of the fact there's, like, no... Normally, like, the UK doesn't have to deal with that heat, so, like, there's no normalized, like, air conditioning or whatever. And buildings are not made because it's a lot older buildings. You don't have buildings made to... You know, people are just roasting in the UK. Like, it's a severe problem uh, from, what I, from what I understand. People are legitimately dying because of an extreme, this extreme heat wave in the UK. Uh... And I know this event is trash, by the way, because, like, half my viewers have fallen off. Literally was just doing normal daily things in Genshin. You know, the most boring Genshin content. The most no boring normal Genshin content. We were doing 70 viewers, and now we are doing an event for co-op, which should be more interesting, and we've lost half of our viewers. <laughs> Last you know, this event is really trash. This event is really trash. If you lose half your viewers when you're doing a co-op specific event, letting viewers join. Like, nobody cares about this event. It's just garbage. Oh, that's sad. You know, oh, come on. Come on. I know it's like they're focused on doing Sumeru, but like, you gotta do better events than this. It's so bad. My will embodied. This one is just super whatever, but it's the, at least it's the, the most, this one was the most mindless of them. By the time I got to this one on my mannequin, I was just like, I don't even care. Just skip through it. I don't even know what the mechanic was. All I know is this platform moves and there's enemies and I smack the enemies. That's it. All I am for nosing me. Plunge attacks are louder <laughs> than Nozomi's liar. Uh. Escort the Driftstone Raft to his destination. Will do.
How exciting. So we had to fight two hilly trolls there. Like, uh, how was this the best idea they had for a co-op event? Like, I feel like the, the, the Mihoyo was like, okay, we got to put in an event, the, the last event before 3.0. Uh, intern over in the corner there. Yeah? You make an event. Me? Yeah, go make an event for the event between 3.0 because we're busy, you know, making uh, the Al Hatam sexy. Okay. And then this is what the intern came up with. That, that's my impression of this event. He glossed over my poem. I'm sorry, I missed your poem. I didn't even see it. Your voice profound and brimming with, brimming with class. Is that a poem? I guess that is a poem, yeah. It's a very short poem. Uh, thanks. Seems kind of simpy. But, it, but thanks. What did I think of the Unreconciled Stars event in 1.2 to 1.3? I started playing in 2.2, question mark? 2.3? I don't know. The beginning of this year. Um, so... I have no opinion on the event. I did not partake in. Didn't read the second verse. I don't know where the second verse was. Uh, akin to a rustle of the wind in the tall in the tall grass. Thanks for the compliment, or thanks for the poem. I don't have a enough of an interest in poems to do some kind of an analysis on the meaning of the poem, but. My impression of the poem is it seems like a simpy poem. <laughs> so, thank you, I guess. I appreciate the effort in making a poem. Seriously, their best idea of a co-op event was escort a raft and kill a bunch of Haley drills. Okay. Okay, Mahoyo. Okay. I'm almost out of chicken. How exciting. Great event. 10 out of 10. Best event. Just rerun this event every, 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 every update. Mahoyo, please, please rerun this event. It's really great, you know. Just uh, standing here on this raft for 30 seconds straight people in co-op. How exciting. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, I'd rather have double ley lines too. Just to... Yeah, just... Please. Give us like a guarantee ley lines every... every at the end of every update. Over this. The, I mean, I like. I would rather miss. I don't know. The, the it's Fremo gems, right? But like, I don't know, this, this event is just bad. It's just so bad. <laughs> It'll be double ley line three point That's good. They seem to be doing double ley lines every other update. Is is what they seem to be doing. They also did a bunch of double ley lines in the in the, the eternal. What was it? Two point six was eternal. Yeah, and the Eternal Ayaka banner, they did double A lines there. See Shenha there? She was just like stuck spinning for like half a second, a second straight. Alright, let's go. Let's finish up this event. It's funny that I'm being kind of annoyed, but I'm the calmest voice ever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that annoyed, I'm just like disappointed because it's a co-op event. It could have been so much more fun than this. You can, they can do unique things with the co-op system they have implemented. They've done unique things with the co-op system. This is just not one of them. It's just, it's just fighting hilly trills for like 30 minutes straight. 
and jumping around. That's that's what this event is. And then waiting and doing nothing for like 30 second stretches at a time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, if you want to see me get actually annoyed, you know, you'll see me just watch me playing the abyss, right? Like, I'll get annoyed there. But that's like a, a healthy annoyance where like I'm frustrated because like I'm actually enjoying the difficulty a little bit. But I'm, I'm annoyed at like you know annoyingness of like particular enemies or whatever, right? But like. It's more justifiable or something like this is just like there it was intentionally designed to be just bad. Like did they playtest this at all? Did anyone in, in playtesting actually enjoy this event? Like like how? Like I don't like what human on the earth enjoyed this, whereas like enemy design is more complicated. I can forgive them for making enemies that are annoying. And you gotta be like you gotta make enemies that are annoying, right? Uh, it's it's a game with combat. Like, you know, I get it. The the having difficult enemies is not a bad thing. That's what I've tried to say at the end of my Abyss streams, right? Just because you hear me frustrated doesn't mean I think it's necessarily bad. Um, that, like, it's frustrating. I enjoy the frustration in, in many ways. But this event is just... What? Like, like... Like, how did they decide that this was worth being an event? That's like... Kind of all it comes down to. This feels like the most filler of filler events that I've experienced in this game, honestly. And that's even when I, I, my impression on some events was like, oh, these are super filler events, right? Like, my impression of when they had like that, of, of a drink, a, oh, what? I definitely thought it was just going to reset me automatically. Um, like, what, the of a drink, a dreaming, the one where you like mix drinks? I thought that that event was like super stupid at first, but like clearly a bunch of effort was put into it. And it was actually kind of fun because you got like a bunch of unique dialogue with characters and whatever. And it actually like was engaging. Um, like it was a filler event, but it was engaging filler, right? Whereas this is just like, smack some hilly turtles in co-op and jump around and wait for 30 seconds to a minute at a time and do absolutely nothing and fall off the platform 500. I didn't even mean to fall off there, but I just fell off and I was literally just saying fall off and I accidentally fell off. Oh my God. I fall off a platform and just, and just uh. okay. Yeah. Worst event I played, honestly, is, is my opinion on that. So. Yeah, we got the Primo Gems. Yay. <laughs> Sweet, you finally caught one of my polearm onlys live. Oh, I hate to disappoint you. I think we're ending the stream here shortly because I plan on streaming again later with Tower Fantasy. Um, <laughs> bad timing, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to join for Tower Fantasy, we'll be, I'll be streaming Tower Fantasy a little bit. Do a single pull right now and do it. You're a bad influence on me. You're a bad influence. I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it on weapon banner. <laughs> no, actually, no. Why would I do this on weapon banner? There's never, what? There's no reason to do it on weapon banner. You can get nothing valuable from this weapon banner, other than dragon's bane, which is not that valuable to me. Um, there's like nothing valuable we can get from the banners right now. Like, why? I mean, we could get a Yunjin, but it's not worth the risk at this point. It's not worth the risk. Sorry. I mean. If it appeases, if it appeases you, I can do a single pull on standard. That's the least risky one to do, but it's also super not valuable. So, I don't know. It's not worth. <laughs> I can do a pull on the, the beginner's wish. <laughs> Skyward spine on next standard pull. It really. All right. What are you? What are you giving me? What are you? <laughs> Sapphire. I didn't even know you were here. Welcome, Sapphire. Um. What 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 do I get uh, if it's not Skyward Spine, Sylveon? You gotta you gotta you gotta give me some kind of guarantee if I'm wasting Primo gems on the standard banner. If I don't get Skyward Spine, I get a like. Oh boy, one like. <laughs> is it is one hundred and sixty Primo gems worth a like? Is 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 one hundred and sixty wasted Primo gems worth? I mean, it probably is a, a wiser use, honestly, to do it here. It's just way scarier to use it on here, because if it's a 5-star, we could literally lose 50 pity. But, Yunjin, lol. <laughs> Get Toma Constellations.
before you log off, please roast my amber. Oh, you gave me two dollars. I actually, I wasn't gonna forget, but thank you for the two dollars. I appreciate it. You know what? Just just because of the fact that that uh, the, this amber this amber main, I'll, I'll, I'll oh god, please the love of God, don't don't. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay. God, that was that was stressful. All right. Good. We're fine. We're fine. We're safe. Ugh. If, if that $2 hadn't shown up, I was just going to say we're going to... I was literally thinking the uh, Outrider, the, 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 the person just gave me the $2. I was literally literally just thinking, I was just going to say, I'm going to just go check out this person's Amber and end the stream. <laughs> and then you donated $2. And I was like, all right. I mean, all right. So, you know, you know what? There you go. Uh, God. Oh, man, the stress and the stress of that one. If that had turned to gold, I would have just been so sad. So sad. Okay. Okay. Now we're not doing another one knows me terrible person. You're not terrible, but no, no, <laughs> no. That was already too risky. Not doing that. We're like, we're we're like eleven days away from Mr. Zhongli. We we do not want to risk anymore. That was that was bad. Don't do that. Anyways, um, let's check out let's check out the Amber quick, and then we'll end the stream. But I will be for everyone still here. I will be streaming Tower Fantasy. I'm gonna say in uh three hours uh the two hours and 45 minutes which is it's 7 p.m my time um so in about three hours i'll be streaming Th tower of fantasy for those that are interested so let's go let's go look at look at this amber mains this amber mains account it's the wrong button I think I, oh no, I think I have to exit single player to go check someone's UID, right? Can I search them this way? Oh, I can. Good, good. Okay. Wonderful. Level 90 Amber. All right. Respect that. Awesome. Level 90 Eula. The only characters I have level 90 are two defense scaling characters, level 90 Amber, and then <laughs> Eula. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, what was their signature? Eula's Mesty, Jean's Groupie, Pigeon's Envy. I don't know what the Pigeon's Envy means. Who's Jean's Groupie? Is Eula, or is, oh, sorry, is Amber Jean's Groupie? Oh, wait, no. Eula's Bestie is Amber. Jean's Groupie. So is this just all Amber? Is this just Amber, Amber, Amber? Is that what this is saying? I see. That makes sense. <laughs> Amber, Amber, Amber. 2200 attack on Amber. Okay, you presumably have like a Skyward Harp is my guess with that high of attack on a four star. Uh, what's your console? This is, this is the real test. How dedicated are you to Amber? How many standard wishes have you given just on the hope of getting Amber? C3. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And the, these constellations are very hard to get. <laughs> so C3 is quite high. Um, I think I have Amber C1 on my main account. Just, just by chance. Right? So... This implies to me, holy wow, four piece wanderers, eh? Okay, what's the weapon? Skyward? Yep, I knew it. Skyward Harp. R2 even. Respect that. Wow. Very nice. Alright. Um, alright, let's 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 see. We got 150 EM, which is interesting. That's a lot of EM. But oh the Wanderer's troop has has half of that. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. But yeah, let's let's see. Let's see. Details. 60, 186, 100 ER. I don't really think you need much ER. Her, her burst kinds of poo-poo, poo-poo, poo burst. So, you know, uh, 60, 186 though, that's that's pretty strong. Obviously you would need a little bit more crit rate, but I definitely understand, I, I would recommend crit rate, but I definitely understand the struggle with crit rate on a four star, not crit scaling character, right? You have Skyward Heart, which is high base attack, but low crit rate. So, you know, the overall crit value you get from Skyward Harper is very high. Like Skyward Harper is really good because of the fact that it has the high base attack but lower crit rate, but you also get some crit damage, right? So for overall balancing of stats, it's really good. Um, but it can make it a little bit of a struggle to get enough stats if you just don't get the right artifacts, right? So ideally, if you get artifacts, to, like I would prioritize personally a little bit more crit rate. But let's see what the actual individual artifacts they are. But the, the overall the overall stats are that's pretty good, right? I, I personally would definitely sacrifice, you know, potentially 20% crit damage for 10% crit rate, though. I personally treat 70% crit rate as, like, my minimum comfortable crit rate. But, uh, you do you. If you just like the big numbers, go for the big numbers, right? So, let's see, let's see. Crit damage, 7, 
It's a 16 crit rate, Jesus Christ. Uh, I was like, first I was like, what is this artifact? And then, no, 16 crit rate, Jesus. <laughs> like, holy crap. Um, so apparently like half of your crit rate is, is half of the crit rate on your artifacts is coming from this. So you have a crit damage circlet, by the way, because I remember, uh, I remember it said, right, so you're getting 22% crit rate from, from your, your bow. You get 5% at base, and then uh, half of your crit rate comes from that one artifact. <laughs> so your total artifact crit rate is 33. Good lord. Um, if you hit weak point, you don't need crit rate. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, this is true. You can just always shoot the weak point. Um, but not all enemies have weak points. So, But yes, if you are if you are the, the aimer, FPS gamer, you know, then I guess you can... You can just always shoot their heads for the enemies that have heads to hit, and you don't need crit rate then. That, that is a that is a fair point. I do forget about that because that is not how I play, but that is a fair point, particularly when you're using someone like Amber, who is a single target, no you know no big AOE on her charge shot or anything. So, anyways, the flower is pretty good. This is a that is a. a by the way, they have a five piece set. You can use an off piece somewhere. Um, the the fact that they're not using an off piece means. Presumably all of your best artifacts are, are these pieces for Ember, but, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is a, it has one dead line there, but it's you know, not the end of the world. <laughs> but yeah, 32 crit value plus another 7, so this is a... Is it, oh, this is just barely, that's sad, this is just barely not 40. That's a little sad, but you got the extra attack percent on there. This is, this is better than a 40 crit value, right? So this is like, uh, you know, with that, this is like a defense percent line. But then it had like 42 crit value. This would be a much. This is still a much better artifact than an artifact that's like 42 crit value. But anyways, um, don't don't underestimate the value of having you 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 want to focus on the overall value of like your individual rolls rather than. So this is a very good artifact, uh, even though it didn't roll 40 crit value. Um, da -da 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 -da. it's just very close. It's just sad that it's so close. It's just it's very very close to 40. Or maybe it is a point. It's 32, 32.6. Yeah, it's not 40. Anyways, feather. 20 crit damage, no crit rate. Okay, so you definitely want a feather with crit rate. Do you really not have an off piece feather that's better than this? I mean, I, I, if you are just going for the aimed headshot gamer, you know, head, headshots for the win gamer, uh, I guess, you, yeah, you don't need crit rate. But I feel like you should, if you have four piece, and you have four piece wonders. I'll check your other pieces here, though. But this seems like a prime candidate for off piece, right? That's my vibe I'm getting. Unless you have no bet. If this is actually your best feather, then maybe. But it's not bad, to be clear. I mean, it's got four rolls, all high rolls in crit damage or average high roll. It's pretty good. Um, it's got an attack percent line. Obviously, the extra HP EM is not doing much for you. But, you know, I feel like there's a lot of potential for a better feather here since you can use an off piece feather, right? Being able to use an off piece feather is like the most the best thing in this game, or off piece feather or flower, because you that's those are the easiest ones to get the best ones. So um, you can you can randomly get you know a maiden's cracked feather uh, or flower, whatever from from farming iridescent, right? And it's rare that you get to use that, but this is a character you could use. You know your off piece maiden's pieces, right? So, anyways, uh, let's check your other pieces. It depends on maybe your see how your what other pieces are attack percent. Oh my god. Oh, I struggle with attack percent pieces so much. My attack percent piece, I have my Ganyu, my, my attack percent Wanderer's piece, has 7% crit damage and like 20% ER. That is, that, is my, that is my attack percent Wanderer's piece on my Ganyu. <laughs> Man, I don't have an on-site cryo goblet for her. So a hypercopium attack percent sans is what I am using on my Ganyu. So seeing this makes me kind of mad. It's got some dead rolls, obviously, but you got a max roll and a high roll crit damage, and then you got high roll average crit rate. It's hard to complain about that for a Sans. That's a really, really good Sans. Like, goddamn, it's good. I'm jealous of it. Pyro bonus. Oh, this is kind of copium. Okay. What, what's going on here? I, 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 like, the reason, so, like, to be clear, this is an onset piece, right? If you're, if you're using this to force an off piece somewhere, it it can make sense. It can make sense, right? This is a, it has high attack percent at least, right? Maybe th there's a chance this is the best pyro goblet you have, but I feel like when you have if you have artifacts like these, you spent a decent amount of I didn't even look at this yet. Whoops. If you spent a decent amount of resin clearly farming for artifacts, right? I feel like you have to have a better pyro goblet than this, right? Like if you're keeping this piece, which is pretty good, um, 
Why would you not use an offset goblet? But anyways, let's check this quick. Crit damage, crit rate, 6.2, attack percent. The ooh, my god, that flat defense. Sad. So this is a four line. This is definitely a four line, I think. It rolled once into crit rate. Uh, sadly, low roll average. Um, twice into attack percent. The attack percent is kind of more valuable if you're doing, you know, uh, aim for the headshots, gamer. Uh, but that's like three flat defense rolls, I think. Sad. <laughs> so, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, that, that, this is a, this is a, it's okay. It's not, obviously, the defense rolls are sad, but, um, this, this is better than the, this is better than the crit damage piece I have for my Ganyu, so, you know, I'll say that. Your, your pieces are overall better than the pieces I have for my Ganyu, for sure. Uh, I'm just confused why you have this goblet. If, do you, like, do you really not have a better, like, off-piece goblet than this? That's my question, All right? So. You have such bad power cup look, there isn't anything better. Wow. Okay, that's sad. Yeah, so apparently apparently they have not gotten a better pyro cup than this. What do you have in you have like an HP percent? What are you talking about? You don't have a better I mean you, uh, to be clear, I get why you want to keep this piece on Hu Tao. It's an, this is an onset pyro damage goblet you're using on Hu Tao. It makes more sense to use this on Hu Tao. But if you're an Amber main I mean it's not that's not that good of a goblet to be clear. This is this is much better for Hu Tao than it is for Amber. This is it's much uh, okay. I, I retract my statement. This is this is much 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 better for Hu Tao. So you know I, I no, it's fine it's fine for overall team balance. It makes much more sense to keep this on Hu Tao. Much much more sense. You got four piece crimson. That's kind of that's kind of kind of really good. Forty one twenty. You were probably on Dragon's Bane. Yeah. Um, Forty one twenty three seventy two. This seems like a pretty balanced. This seems like a pretty balanced Hu Tao build. A little bit low crit rate, but uh, I don't think you've invested a ton into a ton into her. I'm assuming. Is this an HP percent? No, it's crit rate. So all your crit rate is coming from that. Does Hu Tao, what is Hu Tao's ascension stat? Does she does she ascend with crit damage? I don't remember. She must ascend with crit damage. Yeah, yeah. She ascends with crit damage. She has plus 32. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Um, yeah, you need more crit rate in your Hu Tao, but I, I understand. You got you got to invest in the in the amber. Well, you can't really farm wanders other than the strong box. But anyways, <laughs> let's, let's check your Eula. What's 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 best by that? Oh, you got the song of broken pines. You you dedicated broken weapon. It's a freaking broken weapon. Pale flame. All right, makes sense. What's ooh? What's the off piece? Two, two, fifty nine, one forty, one twenty two. I don't know what the recommended ER is for Eula, but. Uh, crowned, crowned. Oh yeah, I didn't even check. Ooh, no crown normals and and almost almost crown the other two. I mean, I it doesn't make any sense to crown those. To be fair, you crown the normals. That's that's what matters if you're man in amber. I think so. And you level nine the other two is is pretty great. I respect your I respect your amber. Azula seems quite good though. Ooh, oh, look at this. This is a triple. Cr oh no, it's not triple crown. Wait, is that not triple? Why would you? Oh no, no, this is not crown. This is not crown. You crown the normal. Is, is crowning the normals over the burst make more sense on on Noel? I haven't actually looked at Noel's. I'm assuming she probably uses her normal attack uh, multipliers for her burst damage. Is probably it's probably the same as Zhao, so it probably makes more sense to crown this over the burst. But so I get that. But you you, uh, you a crown gamer like most of you crown crowned Lisa's E. Cool cool. You have C four Lisa. My God. C5 Kaya? Oh god, you're gonna make some people mad with that. With a, oh boy. I mean, there's a lot of people that want your C5 Kaya. Triples 10, 13, 12. For for your Is this triple? Did I just do my did I just math wrong? Yeah, okay, no, it's not triple. Yeah. So, I don't know who I was looking at. Oh. oh yeah, this one would be 10, 13, 12 if it was a triple. But, anyways, good lord, yeah, you you wished a couple times on the standard banner, I think. <laughs> that's that's for sure. Like C five Gaia, C four Lisa, and then the game of course knows your remaining amber and is giving you the least ambers. But, good lord, um, yeah, Kaya and Lisa are works in progress. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured, but um, that's the fifty nine one eighty. That's you have Redhorn. God damn. God damn, this person is. I like you. You uh, you uh, 
you uh you uh got the uh, you got c6 no I see. yeah i figured c6 no it's pretty easy to get but like why do you still have mod uh i don't know because youtube mods doesn't really matter basically youtube mods just have to get rid of bots so it's fine <laughs> uh but, but, but anyways yeah respect all the respect for the person playing the four star characters with cracked you know, cracked, you know, <laughs> the, the broken five star weapons, right? Yeah. So, the people who have red horn who are using Ito, it's like, okay, cool. You know, you're just a, you know, you just wailed for, for your Ito. But wailing for a, or, or spending money or risking, you know, if you saved up a long time and wrist wishes for red horn for Noel. Yeah. You, you, you got, you got balls and I love it. I love it. Love the red horn Noel. 59, 180. I, I think you're a low crit rate gamer, which is not my style of, of playing. I I would I, I would prefer you know like 90 percent or like 80 percent 150 personally versus 60, 180. But some people like the big numbers every so often more than they like the um, well, they have red horn. So that red horn is skewing this a little bit, by the way. So that makes sense. But um, four piece husk obviously makes sense. Anyway, point, point is uh. I, 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 with Ren Horden, it makes sense that you have skewed crit damage there. Oh, so I'd still prefer more crit rate, is what I would say. 60% is lower than I would prefer for sure. But again, not a crit scaling character, and you have a crit damage weapon. So, you know, <laughs> all of your all of your crit rate is coming from your artifacts there, right? Other than the the base 5%. So it's difficult. That's a lot of crit rate. So you you've already prioritized crit rate. So I I get it. I get it. Uh, also, you have a lot of ER too. I didn't even notice that. That's hard to do. This is actually a really well-balanced build. Um, I haven't looked at the individual artifacts. Obviously, you want a lot of ER on Noelle. The whole point of her is to have her burst up. So if you don't have her burst up, you ain't really doing damage with it, right? Um, so the fact that you have a lot of ER and you have so much crit rate and a little bit of crit damage in your artifacts, you actually got, you, you've invested a lot in this lady, um, especially with how miserable that domain is because of the fact it's not resin efficient at all. Let's see, defense percent, crit rate. Actually, I, I think I clicked on the worst one first. I mean, it's a time piece. It makes sense. <laughs> you got a crit rate, though. And you get, yeah, you got to prioritize the crit rate, and it rolled heavily into crit rate. I get it. It's a, it's a sad piece. There's, that's definitely where you have the most room for improvement, obviously. But uh, that's you need the crit rate. I get it. I get it. What's your crit damage? Oh, you don't have crit rate on your flower. That's interesting. Maybe you haven't invested as much. I'm surprised. How do you have 60%? You have, like... Yeah, they had plus 55% crit rate. They have plus 54, 54% crit rate. And, like, yes, this one piece, okay. This this one piece, yes, has 13% crit rate. Okay, we still need another, like, 40. And their flower has no crit rate. Like, okay, what the... F okay, so I'm assuming a lot of it's probably on this. No. Okay, this is where all your extra crit damage is. Okay, so like uh, you're, you you have a crit rate circlet presumably, and then this goblet is probably a geo damage goblet with a shit ton of crit rate. Is that what this is? Yeah, crit rate, defense percent, ER, and you want crit damage, but it's okay. You have red horns; it's not really the end of the world. In fact, honestly, with red horn, it might make more sense to invest more in defense percent. So this actually might be better than having a crit. I mean, obviously, you still want like a crit damage line. The point is, I'm not sure exactly with the, how the stats would balance over red horn. It might actually be better with Noel in particular, and Red Horn to have a defense percent over crit damage roll to balance out your stats more. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know enough about Noel builds in particular um, and to, to know the value of a defense percent over a crit damage roll. So the point is that's actually, this is better than it probably looks to, to the average person that just looks at this artifact. Uh, you need ER with Noel, you want defense percent. So that's actually pretty good. Um, so, we got 13% crit rate there. We got 30 here. So this goblin has like 15. No. Did I just am I just really bad at math? I think I'm just really bad at math. 13. 3.5. So it's like 17. None from this one. Uh this so this is like 48. What? Does that add up to 54? Okay, apparently it doesn't add up to 54. Okay. I thought this would have much more crit rate than it did. Um 
you're unlucky with elemental goblets apparently <laughs> this this is a pretty bad geo goblet just saying i mean it's got er it's got defense percent you want it it's not the worst um this artifact is helping balance out your er a lot for sure it has the crit rate maybe you just have a, a, you just prioritize this maybe for the crit rate and er um for anyone judging this this goblet this goblet can oftentimes for like actual team utility right like say say they have a better goblet that has no er but has like you know a, 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 20% crit damage, right? So let's say it's got two dead stats for Noah. So it's like, let's say there's a flat HP, HP percent, same crit rate, but then like 20 crit damage goblet, right? So same goblet, but 20 crit damage, no defense percent on here. Um, and it's just two bad stats. It's just, crit, it's just like your generic, pretty decent GL elemental goblet, right? Um, I don't know exactly how Noel's energy needs works. It depends on your team composition, right? So you can make low ER work. But sometimes it is much smarter in this game to prioritize something like this for like the extra ER or whatever. It's a much more well balanced for your entire team utility to keep your burst up so you can continue dealing damage to have something like that. So anyone who thinks this is bad, you need to try to reconsider like your your prioritization a little bit right like if you're struggling in abyss and you're noticing downtime like and you're just doing normal attacks with your noel or with your whatever well if you have that artifact that has like one crit line and like one other good line and some er that might be your problem right it might be the problem that you just don't have enough er er is the number one undervalued stat in this game in my opinion you need more of it than you think a lot of the time so Anyways, uh, it depends on your team composition. The reason I like Favonius weapon so much is because you can like not you can deprioritize ER lines in your artifacts because of the fact you can just like slap some Favonius users in your team and then you know Favonius can help fix your problems. But it depends. So, anyways, uh, point is this seems like a pretty good Yunjin or you I should just say Yunjin. Pretty good, a pretty good uh, Noel. That's what I say. You have Yunjin too. Does Yunjin buff? Yunjin must buff Noel's normals, right? 4350, 201, I'm assuming you're on Vonius. Seems like a good, yep, yeah, seems like a good four piece husk, probably. No, defenders, husk, that makes sense. You know, that's an easy way to balance. 2100 defense, this is a good, it's a good Yunjin. You know, now you haven't invested as much into Yunjin, obviously, as other characters. Um, it's a good Yunjin. Anyways, yeah. I reviewed this account for longer than I intended to, but I like it. I like your account. It's awesome. So you got room for improvement, mostly in your element in elemental goblet for, for Amber, I think is the biggest thing I could say, but I think you know that. You know what you're doing. is My my impression of what you're doing, what your account is, you know what you're doing. You know how to balance your stats well. Um, the, this Noel is really well balanced. So gene skin, they have the gene skin. I didn't even notice that. I don't know what ideal stat. Eugene is like a modal character. You can do whatever the fuck you want with her. Uh, I'm assuming you don't have her kitted out with what you. I don't know. You have Avonius. Maybe you, you probably just use her as a support healer, energy generator. Is my impression. I feel like if you're doing support healer, Gene, you'd normally want four piece viridescent for getting the occasional viridescent, but. It looks like you're actually doing a mixed. You're, you're one piece away from doing four piece viridescent. doesn't. I'm, I'm assuming your intention is to do a mix, uh, like a hybrid healer DPS unit gene. Yeah, you got, yeah, it's a really well balanced gene. So yeah, you got like a weird hybrid mixed DPS gene going on, um, which is kind of what Jean, I, I really like Jean for her. You can do whatever the F you want with Jean kind of. She has high utility as an animo unit. She has healing, she's a support. Um, as a support, she can deal decent bits of damage on her own if you want to slap. slap you know, she scale her healing scales off attack, so you can. She's she's made her kit is made for you to be able to do uh, a hybrid kit. So, you know, I, I have nothing to really comment on that. It's hard to like shame on a gene build that's one not fully built. Obviously, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roast a gene that's not fully built. Also, I like gene, so gene deserves no roasting. Gene is the best standard five-star character, just saying. So, 
constellations. I think I already did. It was C1. I briefly went over there. C4 gene is obviously the best gene, but that's that's very hard to get. So, you know, was a VV until last week. <laughs> okay, that's fair. So, yeah, you just swapped one artifact to someone else. That makes sense. You probably normally have a different artifact in the circlet is my guess. But, it's, but yeah, you got, a, you got a mixed DPS gene build. A DPS healer gene, which probably works perfectly fine because that's how genes made to be used um, you can you could go more fully into healing you could go more fully into one or the other but I think you got a pretty well balanced mixed does a little bit of damage does a little bit of healing build of gene it's much better than my gene <laughs> that's what I'll say yeah c4 gene is a dream I also have c1 dream c1 dream I have c1 gene and a dream for c4 I hope they never do. I hope they never do a gene banner because that's going to be a tempting banner. <laughs> if they do a, they do a gene banner. Anyways, thanks all for joining. Uh, I'll be streaming, like I said, in now two and a half hours, about, for uh, the Tower of Fantasy, also known as Janky Genshin Impact, <laughs> but you know. And I will be ranting most likely. C6 Chi Chi would be cool too. I have no idea what Chi Chi's constellations look like. Never looked at it. My will embodied. If no zombie wants to play us out, you can play us out. There you go. Increase the volume for you. There you go. What? 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 Let me on and off. Thank you, Nozomi. Um, I was very quickly, without even looking at the individual artifacts, Kobe, I don't want to spend too long on your, your Yalon. Um, I'll check the DPS Shenha too in a second. Uh, Kobe, your your Yalon is very good. This is obviously a support Yalon build. Um, some people might prefer Favonius, like I was just talking about the utility of Favonius. So, you know, but I, I think if I had C, this is why I checked the constellations here. If I had C0 Yalon, I, I like using Yalon's skill a lot. Um, I find it really, I find her skill to be her most fun part of a kit. So I definitely would, if I had C0 Yalon, I would be in the same camp uh, of using, of using Sacrificial Bow. So I like Sacrificial Bow personally. Um, you overall have a very, very good build of Yalon. Um, this, uh, you remember, the, so she has crit ascension, right? But you don't have a crit weapon. So this is a lot of crit rate, a lot of crit damage, and, a, and you have a bunch of ER. This is a very well balanced build. Um, you could use more HP, but... Uh, because obviously her damage scales on HP, but being that you have full four piece emblem kit with really good balance of stats with your crit rate, crit damage, and ER, it's going to be hard to improve, right? So like I can look at your individual artifacts and see like, okay, yes, this could like right, you would want this to be an HP roll, right? You would want 10% HP there, or actually that would be like 15% HP if that was an HP line. So you you could get improvements here. Right, you would want this to be an HP percent. Um, you'd want, uh, this is our main stat HP. You'd want, I don't know, energy recharge on here, right? So you, if you got like this piece, but with energy recharge here, instead of what you have, then you could you know, prioritize HP percent more somewhere else. Hydro bonus. Uh, yeah, you can get HP percent on your goblet here. So you got some dead stats, right? So it's not like it's perfect, 
Um, the most notable thing you could do, I'm guessing you probably just took emblem pieces from someone else because I see you have, you prioritize like attack percent. Right, so whenever Yelong came out, everyone, everyone collectively was like, oh shit, why did I throw away all those HP percent pieces? <laughs> so, like, everyone's just like, oh no, all the HP percent lines are now valuable on Yelong. So you definitely, um, uh, you definitely want more HP percent rolls, is what I would say, to, to fully balance out your build. But your stat balance is very good. Right, you have a good amount of ER, a good amount of crit right, good amount of crit damage. For a support Elon, this is very strong. Um, like your your overall artifact value is better than my artifacts. Like if I had your emblem artifacts on my Elon, I would have a my stats would be uh, so add add the the the, the what the well actually you no know, the crit rate would still be a little bit low obviously. But um, I would have like a 240 crit damage, right? My crit rate on my Yalon, my C6 Yalon at 68% right now is hyper sad. <laughs> like, it's just, and I don't even have a good amount of ER. Like my Yalon build is honestly kind of just copium all around. I just, um, my Yalon has way more HP than you. So like my Yalon obviously is much more DPS focused. Um, yours is an overall more balanced build for like support utility though. So this is a very good Yalon. Um, unless you have other, you, unless you don't have other characters you want to invest in, I would not focus too much on improving Yalon, other than the fact that you might just get lucky and get better artifacts for her when you're, you know, farming for, farming for emblem, right? So like if you keep on farming emblem, because you're probably going to keep on farming emblem because it's emblem, um, right? Just keep in mind, the the value of an HP percent line is very high. Um, uh, like like numbers wise, particularly when you don't have that high of HP right now, um, you're not you uh, the, the HP can be more valuable than than crit damage in circumstance. A max roll HP percent it can be more valuable than it, it actually, especially if it, like I believe almost always a max roll HP percent is better than a crit damage mineral. What's your talent at actually? Eight eight eight. Okay. Um, the, the this might actually skew it a little bit. So grain of salt right the, it depends on your overall balance but point is um more hp would be better you, you would probably like sacrificing a crit damage for hp so if you do have artifacts like that you have right now that you um, say that would sacrifice some crit damage or or uh and, but but you have like 10 percent hp on them those are going to increase your damage output more um than just having more crit damage right so but I don't know if you have those artifacts right now. You might not know that. You might you might know that already. But I figured I'd mention it because some people don't realize just the extent that Yalon scales so heavily on HP that HP can be more valuable than crit damage. So crit damage in particular, because remember, crit damage doesn't do anything. It doesn't it does shit all for you uh, if you don't crit, right? So. Um, Right, uh, the, the, the HP percent always benefits you, at the very least, but, yeah, and when you do crit, the HP scaling for its, you know, I, I digress. Um, and, like, part of the reason people don't say that, that same thing for attack percent, like, attack percent versus crit damage can actually have the same thing for attack scaling characters, normal attack DPSs. The reason people don't focus that much on attack percent and it's not as valuable is because of the fact that you have outside sources of buffing your, your attack percent, like Bennett. Like Bennett's existence is why people, part of the reason people focus so much on the value of like crit damage stats over like attack percent, because Bennett makes it so there's heavy diminishing returns on attack percent. So crit damage generally is just much higher value. But with Yalon, when you don't have many outside sources of buffing or HP, the HP percent has much more value than like an attack percent would for a normal scaling character. So point is, if you have artifacts, it might be worth considering playing around with them and trying more HP focused artifacts versus um, uh, the, your your crit focused artifacts, right? But right now you have a very well balanced build and it's very hard to improve your artifacts. Um, it's the same problem I have my Yalong currently where like all my artifacts are pretty good and it takes a really good artifact to, that rolls well for me to get a better build. It's like my improvements is really, really slow at this point. So anyways. Um, I'll check, uh, I think Flock wanted me to see their DPS channel and the stream.
spent the last hour doing <laughs> doing account reviews by accident. I enjoy doing account reviews. It like tests my knowledge and it's fun to do them. So yeah. the world falls completely silent. Twenty four hundred attacks. This is a this is a DPS Shenhe. That that would make sense. Obviously, Shenhe's support ability scales off of. Uh, her attack stat, so you just like crank her attack percent, uh, you know, crank all the attack percent you can uh, with her, but with a DPS oriented, you just follow, if you're using her as a main DPS, you just follow normal main DPS rules. Um, I don't know whether, if you're main DPS in chat, I don't know if you do a physical goblet or not. Two piece noblesse, two piece shimanawa, okay. Um, so you're clearly focused on the burst damage, I'm assuming. Um, if you're focused on the burst damage, I would, I'm, I have no idea, I would test out Emblem on her if you have good Emblem pieces, see how she does an Emblem, uh, I don't know. The the fact that you're doing 2 piece no less, 2 piece Shimanawa makes me think you're focusing on burst damage and it might be more valuable to do n Emblem over Noblesse, uh, 2 piece Noblesse, but you can, you can test it out. Uh, especially if you're doing burst damage focus and you only have 110 ER, I don't know what her energy cost is. Uh, triple crown, goddamn, nice, very nice. Respect, respect. Um, you know, you're you're a, and the crowning doesn't have the most value. So, so crowning, in my opinion, is mostly just the thing you do it because you're dedicated to the character. Yeah, right. Um, but anyways, let's so 61, 186. Uh, this seems like a pretty well balanced DPS build. Um, I'm pretty sure she does not. She's made as a support character, so I'm pretty sure she does not have a crit scaling stat. Right? Well, I can actually I can check this. I don't remember what she scales on. 136, 34. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that means... Yeah, she doesn't have she doesn't have a crit scaling, so... I'm pretty sure, right? 61, 22... 22 is coming from the weapon. 5% base, that's 27. Plus 34. Yeah, yeah. So she has no crit scaling. I don't know what she scales with. Presumably attack percent, I'm assuming. Um, I'm assuming Chen has skills with attack percent because that's what her kit is based on supporting anyways. So, she's a little bit Everything awkward to build as a main DPS, that's for sure, because obviously she's meant to be a cryo support character. But, uh, let, let's see the individual artifacts real quick. But yeah, I mean, if you're focused on burst damage, um, I would, I would test out Noblesse, or, or sorry, not Noblesse, uh, it's called, uh, Emblem. Just if, if you have good emblem pieces, right? Particularly because you're probably farming already for all the emblem characters, right? So, like, what are your... What are your... Your artifacts here for... We have an on... Offset... Oh, what the heck? What is this? What is this gonna be? That you have an offset flower on Raiden Jogun. What do you... Does this mean you have a good energy recharge piece? Oh, no you don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got hopeful. Okay, you haven't invested that much in Raiden. Oh god damn though. 31, 31 crit damage. It's pretty nice. It's no crit rate. This would be a very good piece of a crit rate line. It'd be it's a little bit sad with the with the flat rolls there, but yeah. Um anyways, uh a little heavy on the ER, I think. Uh, no, why am I looking at Raiden now? Yeah, I think you're a little bit heavy on the ER. Um but I, yeah, I get it. that's what this is about. What my Raiden struggle was sitting at for a while before I, it took me forever to get some more well balanced artifacts. Anyways, uh, maybe you haven't actually spent that much time in the emblem domain. If you don't, if this, if these are your best emblem pieces that are on Raiden Shogun, maybe you have someone else with emblem. Uh, uh, no, you don't. Okay, I looked at Eula. Well, I don't see. I don't know. You maybe you haven't spent much time in emblem, but if you do end up spending a lot of time in emblem, I would test out Chant DPS Shen with emblem if you're focused on the burst damage, but. Um, blah, 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 blah. That seems pretty decent. It's it's okay. I mean, at least the flat attack isn't doing. It's not useless. It's copium, but it's not useless. Would have really liked to see this is a you know this artifact would be much nicer looking if it had high roll right. If this is this is if this is at least twenty twenty one percent right. But it's kind of a low the 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 old low roll crit damage artifact. I can relate. Let's check this piece. Oh, you also, I just, oh, no, no, you have an offset, you have an offset goblet, I see. I thought this was an onset noblesse for a second, I was like, no, that's the fucking ocean cute clam. Um, what's, yeah, what's the feather? 13, ooh, wow, wow, okay, this is, this is a good artifact, so this is a, this is a 40 crit value, and it's got ER on there. And the EM is not the most useful, but, you know, it's not useless, I think. You, you might be doing reactions occasionally with a DPS, Shenha, so, you know, it's probably not useless. But yeah, this, this is a very good, 
Very good artifact. Very good. Uh, da -da -da -da. Attack percent. Crit damage, crit rate. It's pretty decent. Um, it's it's okay. I mean, I understand the struggle. I have, yeah, my the 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 best Shimanawa piece I've gotten for for attack percent piece is like eleven crit rate, eleven crit damage. <laughs> it's like a thirty crit value, meh piece. This is also what I would describe as a meh attack percent sans. Is is okay, is okay. Mind be purged. But uh, I don't know. sans for some reason is where I struggle the most on all my characters. It seems like I just have none that are like even that great. But let's what was the other one? Uh, circle, circle. Check your off piece last. Eight point nine, fifteen million. Dang, yeah, that's a, that's a very very freaking good. Uh, uh, you, you got obviously you want like ER here or whatever, right? But. There's, there's not much to complain about with getting 9% attack, or 9% crit rate, 50% attack, you know, no dead rolls here. You just have dead stats here, but... What's, uh, what's the goblet? 27.2 cryo damage moment, it's nice, and the EM is not useless, so... If you're using any kind of reactions, there's no dead rolls here. If you're not doing reactions, you got some dead rolls, but... Obviously, the stats are dead, you want crit right there, whatever, attack percent, yada yada, blah 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 blah, you get the point. Obviously, it could be better, but... For an elemental goblet, it's not that bad. It's pretty good, honestly. So, anyways, I, I said I was ending the stream yeah, like 20 minutes ago. So, thank you. I like I like the DPS channel. I have no idea what kind of number she does DPS wise, um, but it seems pretty good. I, it's hard to judge a character that is not normally meant to be a DPS, right? So, uh, highest damage dealer is 69k. Very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, I would just play around when you when you're doing something like turning a support character into a DPS. Just keep in mind trying to play around with different team configurations, play around with you know different artifacts you have, like playing around with emblem, like I mentioned. Um, heck, you can play around with right fucking uh, the, the the what's it called Blizzard Strike, right? Um, normally something normally Blizzard Strayer is not what you would use on Shenna, but you can play around with Blizzard Strayer, right? For the for the crit rate, it might then you can focus just on attack percent crit damage. If you already have, I think you had an Ayaka, right? You had an Ayaka. You could try slapping your Ayaka artifacts on Shenha and see how it does. Maybe use Shenha and Ayaka together still, even with DPS Shenha. I have no idea. So, uh, anyways, point is you can you can play the the fun thing about using a support character as DPS is you can kind of play around with things a bit and see what works best. You know. Um, you can basically make any character in this game do big damage. I'm certainly going to be trying. It's going to be it's going to be interesting because I'll be trying. So, I guess for anyone still watching that doesn't want to hear about uh, leaks about a character that we know very little about, uh, Candice is rumored to be a hydro polearm character coming out in 3.1, um, and she's rumored to be a shielder, so a support character. But being that she's Hydro, they seem to have been made, you know, and she's a shielder. She's probably going to have some amount of damage she'll deal, theoretically. I mean, even Toma is kind of bad as Toma's kid is. You can make him deal some decent damage. And I have this freaking artifact. I am sure as hell going to try to make a DPS Candice. Even if she has the worst scaling possible, I am going to try to make her deal as much damage as possible. Because I have this. I have to use it. For a... The, for a Hydro scaling, for a character, that, like, god, I wish I had this in my main account so much. It's literally, other than, like, this line being an ER line, it's literally the god artifact for Yelon. <laughs> like, literally a god piece for Yelon. I'm so mad. I'm so freaking mad that I have this on this account. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways. I, I want that so badly on, on my Yelon. It would instantly take my Yelon from, like, merely okay to cracked just with that one artifact. I'm so mad that I have this here. It's just is like not useful in this account. And the first Hydro Polearm character is not gonna be DPS. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make her DPS because I have that artifact. But yeah, she might rely on Dendro for good damage too. That's the main thing I'm scared about with the like Sino in particular. Is like if they design him really heavily around relying on Dendro reactions. It's uh yeah. I can't believe you called C6 Yelon okay. Well, I'm, I'm talking about her build. Her overall build is okay. For a C6 character, I would rather 
Like, look, my, my perspective on having C6, I may as well invest more in her. I would like to invest heavily into her, but right now, it's smarter for me on my main account, resin-wise, to invest more effort into, like, farming better viridescent pieces, better, like, emblem pieces for my supports, because your support characters can buff your, your main damage characters, like C6 Elon, right? Like, getting a better, getting better five-star EM piece for my Kazaha increases the damage for my Yelon, right? So... I'm not investing resin into my Yelon right now. I would like to invest in her more, but it's hard because the domains I want to farm for her to maximize her damage are heart of depth. Um, so it's not resin efficient to do that because I get Blizzard Strayer and heart of depth and I don't have a cryo character that I care about using Blizzard Strayer on right now. And then I don't really care about Pale Flame right now. So I only care about like DPS oriented tenacity. Just, and my artifacts are all good they're all like okay like all of my artifacts in yelon are okay but because they're all okay it means i need really good artifacts uh, like that have good base stats to have a, a decent potential of rolling which are much harder and much rarer to get so it's just like it's not resident efficient for me to improve my yelon any further than she already is outside of trying to improve other characters to fix her overall utility in her team so i'd say my yelon is overall okay i want her to be much better she could do, she could be very very much better than she is, but she does a lot of damage to be clear. Like my Yelin can do a hundred thousand damage on her skill when I have Viridescent and, and Kazuha's buff going. Like she's she does some insane damage to be clear. It's not that I need more damage. It's just that like for optimal balance builds, I I got some work to do on my Yelin. But anyways, um, we yeah. Ew, ew, bye bye. I've been talking for too long. Now I only have two hours to do things that I needed to do before I'm streaming Tower of Fantasy, so bye bye. Bye bye. I'll be back in a couple hours for the Tower of Rants.